Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No point. Because it's not special. <laughs> but it is special, just not it's special. It's special to me. It, is, magic it is special to us. It's very right. special to me. If you can't remember what it does, if it's just a plus one, you, you basic. I Look, I often forget that it has a plus one sword. Maybe you should. Oh, we'll just put it on his little sheety sheet, and then you're better. You're golden. Never have to think about it again. Put it on I mean, his little I can't. sheety sheet. They don't have an inventory. Yeah, well, soon. Just update his attack and make it plus one. Yeah, update his attack, dummy. Wow, they really just coming for you like this. Yeah, they don't like me. <laughs> Apparently. I'm yes. Hey, none of that. <laughs> Alright. I think we're live. Who knows, though? Holy shit! We're live! Hello, oh, internet! Nice. Hello, interweb! You definitely didn't oh. hear us bullying Al. Definitely, for sure. Absolutely. They're always not. bullying me. Oh, I mean, they can go back through. The like a previous... favorite pastime of mine, personally. They can go back to the previous 20 introductions and it's all just bullying. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's and if it isn't, true. we're doing something wrong. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's be jealous. <laughs> um, anywho, huh? Where's, where's my music? Music make me lose control. DJ, where's the music at? Oh, stop the music. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, Mr. Three different... DJ, put a record on. Hey, life. Where is all oh, the dance with my baby? <laughs> when the music. <laughs> all right, hang on. Oh, Lane, we can't get demonetized this early into the video, please. <laughs> demonetize. <laughs> demonetize. I literally said. play copyrighted music, and we never get pinged for it. So. Uh -huh. Because we have. <laughs> no one uh, watching. Well, no. Like, I play music on, like, my normal stream and I get pinged all the time. It's because we talk too much. There's too much talking. Oh, they, they, can't make, they can't make out the music. I just wanna fling yeah. my that's, that's tea bag at someone. You're gonna fling yeah. your tea bag at someone, please? Wow. That's I, uh, I volunteer not tribute. appropriate. <laughs> You're right. That's so you should've heard me and Layden whispers. <laughs> What's I the last would rather week? not. <laughs> I'll pass. I'll she's, pass. Like, she's like, hey, baby, I'm like, we're live. Live, live on air. <laughs> People can hear us. <laughs> hey, no, that's wholesome. Whatever out of pocket shit you were about to say is not. <laughs> okay, I'll just be going. Uh, Al, you can. Go I'll send pocket. you my notes. You can take over. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I'm the worst team here. Give me <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, let us go ahead and jump into tonight's session. Uh, picking up where we left off last time, um, you guys had set up to uh, commit the century's greatest caper, uh, basically. You were tasked by Kilios Daragon, Black Fang, as he is known uh, by most people, um, to uh, break into Prime Arbiter Sidnok Truscan's estate home in Diastock, steal... Something from the vault. He told you you'll know what it is when you see it. Uh, but along with that, he wanted you to steal his King's Agenda. Uh, which is a basically the day-to-day -day, uh, movements and um, logbook for King Dwindle Bertrand. Nope, all the way around. King Bertrand Dwindle. Um, and... You actually accomplished it, uh, which was very surprising. Uh, after splitting the party, Lyris went into the bedroom of uh, Sidnok Truscan as he slept, stole his uh, planners, his agenda, um, nearly got out without alerting him, but then a little bit of avarice took over a little bit of greed and she uh, yoinked the rings from his hand waking him up as she used the uh, the fade step boots to dip out of the place and rush away using her changeling abilities uh, to disguise herself while this was happening a fight broke out in the vault that was protected by a crystal uh, golem um, that was activated when Alistair, uh, Mr. Plan 101, Mr. So Careful, Mr. Highly Average Intelligence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, 
after he touched the crystal shard and activated the golem. Um, uh, I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, a fight broke out that, uh... Uh, was somewhat circumvented by a little bit of invisibility, a little bit of just running the fuck away. Um, Alistair was wounded in the combat, leaving behind a little bit of blood. Um, and you guys managed to escape, with Asavi being the last one to leave the house. And was almost nearly obliterated <laughs> by a, a Goliath's <laughs> fireball. Um, who had the strange crystal shards embedded into his forearms. Um, you reconvened, spoke with Kilios, uh, learned that the city was being locked down uh, and a search was taking place. To cover up your tracks, Kilios, with the help of Dameron, uh, just straight murdered three crowns guard um, and uh, made it to where your hideout looked like it had been searched properly. Um, some other information was given to Asavi by Kilios himself. Um, he revealed that he was, in fact, an expositor for the Cobalt Soul um, and told her that if you do return to Zadash, you could go to the archives um, and speak with an archivist, Johanna. No, Luciana, sorry. Luciana. Different. I have multiple, my bad. Um, multiple archivists? Yes. Uh, Arcanists, apparently. <laughs> Don't speak to Johanna. She's a Arcanist NPC. Archivists. Uh, and you guys decided, it with uh, apparently a few extra horses in tow, to make your way back towards Zadash uh, after meeting. Oh fuck! I just skipped over something very important. This is what happens when you don't read ahead. Varen met with Tarion Darrington of the yes, Darrington yeah. Brigade. Um. In doing so, met with a young human man named Kynan, Kynan Liore, who was there to uh, ask Tarion to take upon himself and his brigade to help uh, an old ally of his, Kynan's employer, um, who uh, Tarion seemingly was just too busy to help his friend, um, so asked Varen if she could help Kynan, um, who surprisingly heard him out um after the meeting uh, Varen talked with you all you decided to meet with Kynan uh, and agreed after a little stop in Zadash you would head towards Shady Creek Run uh, to look for this uh, architect that had been kidnapped from Diastock uh, and that is where we left off last session sorry for the lengthy fucking recap what happened um, so, shit, man. it's gonna be about a week's travel from Diastock to Zadash. Is there anything you guys wish to do? Yes. Okay. Uh, at some point, um, I think Damron was on another horse, right? I believe so. Right, okay. So, at some point, Savi's gonna, uh, pull up alongside Damron. Um, I've got something I've been meaning to, um, to speak to you about. Oh, well, I'm all ears. I've got, um, a bit of a theory, uh, that I guess seems far-fetched and I didn't want to say it before, but after, after the temple, it seems a little bit silly to keep it now your dreams that you've been having about yes. the dragons the, the battle the the lightning i think I, I think i told you, you before <laughs> i think i told you before that it sounded like um a, a battle a historical battle from quite a long time ago. You did. Before the calamity, yes. Um, 800 or so more years ago. It sounded familiar to me because I was living 
not too far away in Vasselheim at the time. What, 800 years ago? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I like you in a way woke up in Wildmount. Wait. I Wait. haven't lost any memories or none that I no gaps at least it seems but so if I so if it's... I understand this correct you you're, you're saying you're not from this time? Yeah. I don't okay. know exactly how many years ago. The records get a little fuzzy. Um, but there was a, a siege in Vasselheim not long after. I was... I was not fighting, but... <laughs> after... Weeks of it, I struck a deal, and I didn't realize that that involved saving my services till now, apparently. Do you, I'm just... Do you think so, I am from the same I'm time? I'm saying it's possible. The dreams you're having sound like memories. The way you describe them, they're from your perspective, they're interesting, you're... the symbol you have with you fits right along into the story. Even the tinge of your skin, the healing properties, it seems to be at least indicative of some celestial heritage. So... I didn't feel right to keep that from you, so well, I don't know what to do with it, or... or... Demon just looks like his mound just got blown all the way into space. <laughs> I, I... This is... This is so incredible. Okay. How is that even possible? We're playing with powers bigger than ourselves. I mean, you saw, you saw what we saw in the, in the temple, and I, I don't know. I but don't then, know how obviously, it's possible. our coming together, all of us, they must be, at this very moment in time. There's some kind of, some kind of divine fate, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know. I'd like to think so. It'd be, <sighs> it'd be simpler if we could chalk it up to that, but I don't know if that's the case. Maybe it's just coincidence, maybe it's tricks on us to to make fun of us, make fools of us, I don't know. But Do they do that? The gods? Some of them would. Not the one I serve, I don't think. Which one do you just serve? Ayun. About... The knowing mentor. The one we saw. Yeah. But I don't seem to have any connection to her. I mean, this symbol and everything you told me mm -hmm. suggests another. That's very true. So I don't know what's if there's a connection. I don't know if it's coincidence, what, but... What, what's their connection? I mean, I don't know if they have one per se. They both fought on 
against the betrayer gods years and years and years ago. From what I can tell from the history books, at least, that they both worked to bind them and, and capture them and then to put up the divine gate. So I guess they're Ayun. on the same side. Ayun is not one of the outlawed ones. Is she? Here? I don't know. I, I've been a little nervous to explore that too much. I mean, I almost got arrested in Frostenwald. <laughs> so I, I think we're a little bit beyond that. Haven't been. We've been about to be arrested everywhere we go. <laughs> anyway. We really have, haven't we? It's not exactly how I thought things would pan out, but... I don't really care about the laws if they don't... You know, work. Mm. I suppose. But... Do you mean that Ayun sent you here? Not with a lot of instructions. I was plucked. I in the astral sea, it seems just a moment, minutes. And then I was here. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of years and half a world away from where I left. So she left you here with a riddle. Basically. I have a map of stars and an omen. And that's it. So far, at least. Maybe I talked to Kelios. They're right. The people of the Cobalt Soul might know more. If we get to the dash, I might. I want to try and talk to them. See if they can. I'd say help us, but I don't even know what we would try to do, but guide us, for me, at least a little bit, I don't know how any, entangled any, you all are in this. Any little piece. There. And I think maybe if I help you, I will also help me. At least you remember things. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you told me all this. Of course. I understand why you have Anytime. kept it to yourself. <laughs> Sounds a bit crazy, but I figured after what we saw it. I don't know. <laughs> Might not be the craziest thing. Everything seems, sounds crazy to me. <laughs> <clears throat> but... It's what we have. It is. Put it on the list. Thank you for... being so gracious about it. <laughs> I don't know what I oh, expected, but... Of course. Well, I don't really know what you lot think of me. But we've been uh, traveling together for a long time. Mm. I think... 
think Cord would take a liking to you. Or at least you fit in with his his ilk. Well, if it did, I wish you would say something. Demer looks up at Sky. Hmm. How do you even talk to a god? I don't know. It's weird to adjust. They were... They walked the material plane when I was born, and... And now they're... They... They're not. It's an odd adjustment to make, but... I'm not sure I've... I've heard whispers, I guess. In quiet moments, when I focus, when I use magic. But that's about it so far. Well, these gods, they have different kinds of followers, right? Different kinds and places mm -hmm. of worship. Mm -hmm. What about Kord? You said Vesselheim. Yes. But that too was a long time ago then, I suppose. Right. Your father, how did he? My father. How did he follow Cord? He... Uh, he trained in a, a temple in Vesselheim. He did. My brothers did. My sister. Me, for a time. We... Trained, we fought, they fought, other monsters, threats to civilization, it just, I don't know, they functioned as a city guard, an army at the same time, it, it varied, depending on what threats were there. Fighting, huh? Protecting. Maybe if I keep doing that. Maybe if I keep doing that, I will get my answers. Maybe. I hope so. Good. You know, I am hoping when we get to this place, Shady Creek Run, Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we can f learn more about the slaves, the people, you know, that eluded our visit to the caves all those weeks ago. Gosh. It's just weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can make up for lost time on that. Here's the hope, If we have time in Zadash, I'm... If we can move around the city, I don't know what it'll be like, but... If Kalios keep his word... Maybe I can find out if there are sex that follow cord nowadays see what Start. I can find I would appreciate that I don't think the cobalt soul existed when I was young at least I'd never heard of them so maybe there's something new we'll try we'll see what we can find course. Thank That's you. a lot to think about. I'm sure. I'll stop bugging you. <laughs> I'll never worry about that. Mm. Have you told anyone else about this? Uh, Vryn, I think, guessed a little bit. 
I don't know if the others... <sighs> I mean, I assume it would have been a little bit suspicious. We're in an ancient temple and my mother's there and... <sighs> okay. Well, I so will maybe keep they... this. But I didn't lay it all out. <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe it's dishonest not to at this point. Well, that is up to you. I'll think of it. More to think about. <laughs> well, we're all together. And it's... Sounds more and more like... Like I said, some kind of divine purpose for all of us. Mm. So maybe laying it all on the table. <laughs> you don't think it's send them running for the hills? Well, if they do, they weren't supposed to be here in the first place. Hmm. Guess so. All right. As you guys finish up your conversation, um, kind of breaking off a bit to think about what you discussed, and <laughs> Dameron, you really give thought to just how insane what Asavi just told you was. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Dameron is processing. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything anyone else wishes to do? Yes. During that first night, uh, during the first night of travel, uh, Alistair, when they were setting up for break and whatnot, Alistair would go over to Dameron. <laughs> Dameron's getting all the attention today. Uh, hey, Dameron, would you mind if I, uh, would you mind speaking with me for a moment? If I spoke to you for a moment? <laughs> seems, seems to be the theme today. No, I don't mind. What's troubling would you, you? Would you happen... I, I've seen you wield all sorts of weapons by now. Would you happen to to know how to wield a... A, uh... Greatsword? A claymore of like... A greatsword? I, mean, I, feel, I feel like I haven't had one for a long time. But yes. Would you be willing to teach me how to use one? I could make some practice swords. You want to use heavy weapons, huh? They can be I think I can do that. Yes. Thanks. I uh, can do that, but, but in return, I want you to tell me everything you know about the gods. <laughs> if it's about the gods, I think Kasavi might be a better choice. I know a bit about Pelor, it sees my prime deity, but besides him, I can't say my knowledge is very vast. Well then, let's start there. <laughs> sure, sounds like a deal. Good. Then, um, find yourself a great sword and we'll train when we have the chance. We can start, I'll start to make one, we can, we can talk a bit about Pillar while I do it. Good, I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we just go to get his wood. <laughs> go get his wood. Ah! Uh, yeah, uh, Woody! Go get the equipment to, uh, get, get to, uh, to make the, the great swords. Alistair's uh, uh, gonna show yeah, Damon his wood? Uh, He's gonna polish yeah. it a little bit? It's what? Yeah. Polish his wood? <laughs> oh, oh, you made him? He has to work it first, but... Gotta work uh, that wood, anyways. baby. I hate it here. Anyways. So. Okay, so you go and get your your wood planks to uh, to turn into training swords, right? Yeah, he's just gonna yeah. He's gonna whittle his wood. Set up for the training. <laughs> Man, here we go. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and, uh, here, here. <laughs> and do you have uh, do you have woodworker tools or carpenter tools or both? You you combined the two. You said that you combined because the the mason's tools were combined. Yeah. Uh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what what tool proficiency? What what attribute? Not tool proficiency. Uh, for this, let's say dexterity. Okay. Seven. Oh no. <laughs> they're they're ugly. Um, <laughs> and and they're about the right weight for great swords, which will be good for your training, but. They don't look anything like great swords. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, I learned how to use. Guys, a great I'm not a bad carpenter. I swear. By using a club. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but there's the right weight, so you will get some of that, like, uh, you know, that muscle Initial. memory and, and muscle tone from the weight of it. It's just gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a little weird when you okay. actually wield an actual great sword. Do we, do, do there happen to be trees on these fields anywhere? <laughs> Maybe while I'm uh, traveling, I'll snag a branch or two. <laughs> uh, make a survival check. Crit 25. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of, well, there's not plenty of trees, but you see a number of trees here on the Amber yeah. Road. Or, I uh, like the needed branches to, <laughs> to make... A, a second set later on. <laughs> you know. I think we would be better off either crafting or buying just plant actual greatswords. Um. I could do blunt actual greatswords that would be significantly more expensive than just making out of wood. For sure. <laughs> or even better. And I don't want to. Uh, then we'd kill each other. We're both very strong and greatswords are very, <laughs> uh, very powerful. <laughs> Non-lethal damage. <laughs> Non-lethal. That just means you go unconscious. That just means you don't die. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's um, good. But e easily enough, you craft what can pass as training weapons uh, for the time being. Um, probably will be better to get something you know actually made, or maybe buy more wood to try and make it again. But it'll yeah. suffice for now. During the thing that we can travel, then every time we have downtime, we, we go bother pester Dameron to train. Okay. Yeah, we'll know we make him. Alright. Is there anything anyone else wish to do? Uh, before I need to ask, I haven't did because my brain does not remember anything that is important, uh, and only remember shit. Um, did I approach you in character about the skill point or not? I no. don't remember. No. Okay. So no, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, Cole. Hey. Mm. Um, so, you know, like, when you're talking to people and, like, you know, because you're, like, supervised, right? Because, like, I don't know. You have, like, the most calming presence. I mean, if I am ever, like, full of energy, I just sit down next to you and then, like, it all goes away. But that's not what I want to say. But, I mean, I've noticed that when you talk to people, like, you seem to look at them and try to read, like, what their body language is or, like, what they're trying to say, if there's any hidden meaning. I'm not very good at that. I just trust people a lot. Mm -hmm. and, I, and it's, like, it's always been a downside for me, especially when I was doing my old job. So I was wondering, like, maybe you could teach me, like, how you read people, like, what I should look for. It's not really something I've learned. It's natural. But I guess oh, I can help. Yeah, just, like, give me tips on what you do, what you look for, and, you know, what I have to pay attention but to. On this road trip, you might as well teach me some history. I am new to... <gasps> Yeah, yeah. I mean, just so you know, like, my history comes from, I mean, I'm not a scholar like, uh, like <laughs> Varin. The best history comes from the storytellers. All right, I can do that. I have lots of stories to tell you anyway, so you will, you know, we can start by the age of Arcana. I, I'm pretty sure on that. Oh, but Probably you don't know more the details. Modern history. Oh, okay. 
So we can talk about the Jewelers Dominion and how they lost the dash and how King Dwindle is a dipshit. Well, that's not really history, though. I'm kind of getting that already, just from exposure. Yeah. Well, I can talk you, but tell you about the war. It was it was not nice. <laughs> you tell you about the war. Uh... Yeah, lots of people die for years, Bruce. Seventy more years. Good. I love how you're like, "Hey, I need to learn about history." Well, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> no, no, no. The age of our kind of well, he didn't specify. I gotta go back. So I need history it, from the last twenty years of the empire. On the first day. It began with the founding. It yeah. began. Yeah. Eru Aluvatar was singing a song. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, the universe was created. This was generally foreseen as a bad move. <laughs> I love that book. Great book. Is that Hitchhikers? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I love you. Um, so, you guys begin uh, to teach each other some skills. Uh, in that week, I'd like to also ask our passenger <laughs> several questions. <laughs> okay, go for it. Yeah, kind of. What's some kind of? Um, first things first. I'm the realist. I'm, like, I'm the, I'm the, yes I am. Uh, I'd like to ask him, Sir Kynan, do, you do not appear to be, clearly, from Wildmount. Where, where is it that you said you're from, again? Um, Whitestone. In Taldore. that Hmm, um, Taldore. Yeah. I've heard of Taldori primarily in relation to the Ashari peoples, but, oh, uh... you know them? I... tangentially related, through a mutual friend, but... Oh. I was wondering where in Whitestone it is capable of making such a... And I point to his rifles, or where usually is, or where he takes it from, because mm -hmm. he makes it bigger, right? Yeah. And say, such an advanced magical artifact. <laughs> well, um, you see, that's where you're mistaken. It's not magical. It's technological. It's mechanical. Oh. It disappearing is magical, but the item itself is just human ingenuity. I guess human ingenuity has grown in a long time. I'd say it was expedited about a decade ago. Well, I trust whoever created this did it with good conscience and faith that it will land in the right hands. For something <sighs> like that seems dangerous. I'm sure he would like to think that. Hmm. What well, you've, sure he you've no uh, you've no doubt seen them around here. I'm sure. I uh, saw a couple in Raftingard, and some in Sadash, but none as complex as that one. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually there when they were sold to Prime Arbiter Sidnock. Hmm. The plans, I mean. And they were sold by who? She's not important. I take it she's long gone from the tone of your voice. She is, yeah. But no, it's not magic. That's good. I do not think magic can even come close to that level of destruction in some areas. Hmm. No. Magic uh, was, uh, some people think that it was a gift from the divine. 
Whereas this... This creation was just fueled by man's hate. Hmm. I hope to one day meet this man with such a great mind. Maybe you will. And such a great mind to give you the knowledge and skill to wield such a creation as well. He must trust you. I would hope so. View him as family, as a brother. <laughs> well, it will be our pleasure to help you in this endeavor. Even though your acquaintance, what was his name, Tarion, couldn't help you first, we hope to be good substitutes. Well, your, your elf friend, uh, Varen, she heard me out, so that was already a much larger step than Tarion was willing to take, so. <laughs> She's a lot kinder than she may appear. I've come to learn most elves are. <laughs> well, thank you for inquiring my curiosity. Of course. And I go back to Lyris. <laughs> just gonna walk away. He's like, I did have a question. Oh, yes. Um, you all are. Have you been together for long? Are you lifelong friends? Mercenary band? Cell swords? We are more. Well, at first it was an alliance of convenience. But now, seemingly, through hardship, we may be getting closer. But it's only been what some might say as weeks. <laughs> Y'all are the worst. I hate this house! Anyway. Jesus' reaction. <laughs> Gotta go full New Yorker on you. <laughs> yeah. Right, he just me. he just kind of nods. Uh, yeah, okay. But I'm sure you know that even throughout history, groups like this bond quickly, especially through hardship. That is very true. You Some see? of us have our own goals and aspirations, but seemingly. We have put that aside for now to aid you, so. As you say that, you just kind of catch him just seemingly staring off. A slight curl kind of lingers on it, or a slight smile kind of curls on his face. And I did leave him there reminiscing. Yeah. No. I go back to Lyris. Okay. So. Anything anyone else wishes to do? Any other skill sharing? Skill share, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would be sponsored. <laughs> that would so great. Did we get a sponsor? <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been uh... funny as fuck. <laughs> like, we're, wait, only, uh... we're only good enough for Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be a, a whole thing, um, but over the few days. Uh, Asavi makes it a, a point to just, like, be a little bit nicer to everybody. Like, what? she oh. offers to help cook food and just, like, making, like, constantly, you know, checking in with everybody. It's like, you got everything you need? Yeah, you're all, you're good? Yeah, yeah. Um, Goes full mother. Uh, especially Varin. Yes, mom, we're good. Yeah, yeah right. Wow, kindness. So new. Um, she 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 definitely looks a little bit stiff while she's doing it. Like she's like waiting to be like rebuffed all the time, but she's making an effort. Is a Soviet type of person that goes, I don't know what to do with my hands right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh man. Okay. You guys, there's an influx of. Uh... Random Asavi kindness. 
Branta towards your wall. Miranda doesn't do anything. I see. Be a friend. Seven days that we walk around. <laughs> yeah, Miranda. Just... I'm an NPC until then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Everybody else. Everybody's getting their their Skillshare RP in. I'm built different. I'll save you all. Bitch, I'm. Yeah. Okay. Mine is coming from the books in the library. I just right. walk sneakier. I just <laughs> walk sneakier. Walk sneakier. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever. I gotta take that those scissors and like, kind of, uh, cut up the bottoms of your shoes. You know, so they don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> well, if there's, <laughs> we're moving on. Um, there's nothing else. The there's one more. Go for it. During the nights, uh, during Alistair's watch, he's going to begin sp expending Speak with Dead to talk with some of the innocent people, Tim. Okay. Uh, Anything in particular? Or? He's just basically going down the line. He's going to talk to the guards that were dead, and then the townsfolk. He's, he's basically going down the line and asking their names, asking them if they final wishes or letters he wants that they he they would want him to send to their loved ones or anything like that he's basically just going down the line and meeting the people that's unfortunately died around him um much to a surprise majority of the the specters surrounding him um request much to his surprise and chagrin that uh, they just they want to move on they don't want to be stuck here um, but a number of them do actually thank Alistair because through him they still exist they can still see the world and experience things but none of them have any specific wishes other than moving on. Okay. It really hurts. I wish I could help guys. Gee, ouchie, ouchie. Uh, and during one of the nights that he's asking the ghosts, he's going to try and open that locket. The what locket? Uh, Soul Keeper. Oh. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, through brute force? No, he's gonna very gently try to open. He's not gonna try to break it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, make a in investigation check. Will do. Brute force. No. Very stupid. Twelve. Twelve. Um. While there's very obvious, uh, very obviously a locket seam on this amulet, this necklace, um, trying to be as gentle as possible, you, you cannot open it. It does not open. Interesting. Okay. If you wish to try a little harder, you can, but... Magic items are hard to break, but at the same sure. time, I'm not risking it. Because this is a very old item that belongs in a church and not in my hands in the first place, but... It belongs in a museum! Exactly. Uh, so he would not try to brute force it. Okay. He's very curious about it, but he'll not try to... Actually, he'll just try knocking it. Using the knock spell? <laughs> no, he just, just like, taps spell. it against his boot. Okay. You know, he'd walk away from the camp so they don't all wake up to the loud 300-foot knocking. Okay. So you move 300 feet away from the camp. Yeah, I'll walk a bit away. Not okay. Back. Go on a little nightly stroll and uh, just very casually, boom! <laughs> just cast a knock on the locket. Um, nothing happens, and it is oh, untouched it and unscathed. Doesn't open. Interesting. Does not open. Okay, you just return then. Okay. Oh. At least time meant to be open then. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That's it. Not curious or curious. I'm not gonna bruise oh, Bruce works. It. That's that's dumb. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Um so 
at the end of the seven days of travel, um, you all begin to see um, the outer walls of Zadash come into view. Um, the 15 foot high or so um, like triangular perimeter outline of the city comes in uh, to your viewpoint uh, in front of you. Um, you can see uh, the western gate um, that is kind of uh, about 15 foot wide, almost portcullis type entrance. Um, the entrance currently opened, being held aloft by large chains. The same gate, um, no, this is a different gate actually, because you guys left from the south, went through the plains. Um, not quite the same gate you exited, but same design, um, from where you, uh, had left. Um, you do see, uh, four guards, uh, two pairs on each side, flanking, and up on the battlements above, uh, there are a number of other crowns of guard, uh, patrolling. Crossbows at the ready, just keeping an eye out. Um, you continue, uh, past this point, um, and just as a point of order, where are you heading? Where do you wish to go? What time is it? Uh, it's near, it's about, uh, midday, I would say. I want to go to Pumat, because he had something for me. I too want to go to Pumat. Okay, so you two want to go Always to the perimeter to or the Pinta Market? Mm -hmm. And then grab some lunch or get, grab accommodations. <laughs> or that first and then Pumat. Yeah, shouldn't we go get like a, a place to stay first? So we're not really yeah. Are we, are we staying in town? Staying. Even like the night. Yeah. Or, uh, the Maybe night. Day, okay. Maybe a day yeah. or two. It's not the problem anymore, so. You know. I wonder yeah, if we can go it. and collect that money, actually. Since we're not anymore. Well, I wouldn't I push our luck. Oh, man. So, yeah. Like, I'm not the wisest of people, but I kind of agree with Asavi here. Yeah, me too. I think I that'd think be asking a little that. much. I love that money, just... though. Mm. That, <laughs> man, that man has no ill will against us, I don't think. We wouldn't be collecting from him, though. We'd be collecting from the king's hall yeah let's not remind them I whatever mean, we'll figure it out in a minute think the less we interact with them the better um just so you were uh, really quickly just a point of order uh, and then you can continue uh because of where you guys are entering zadash through the western gate um the pinta market is located in the uh, like the central western portion of zadash so Wherever you go, you will actually be going through the Penta Market, regardless, oh, as you make your way towards the Interstead Sprawl. So, just but you can well, continue. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, you know we can make that one a good deed from the bottom of our hearts, and you know let it rest. Uh, I feel it's. Feel it's a bit dangerous. If you would like to go up into the King's Hall and remind them that we're here, that is up to you. I don't. Where did we stay the last time? Oh, what leaky was it called? Nap. The leaky nip? No, it was a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the leaky nap. nap. The leaky nip. <laughs> um, <laughs> or the evening nip or the leaky tap. Fucker. <laughs> It was not the um, evening nip. You did not stay there. No, but... the no. I mean, I'm water. saying there are the two. <laughs> yeah, you stayed at the uh, the leaky tap. Licky Tap Tavern. Uh, yeah, um, that should be fine. Yeah. There's also the Song and Supper Inn, uh, which is on the west side of the Interstead Sprawl, um, that you guys learned about last time you were here. Um, but the Leaky Tap is in the uh, the west outer steads of the city, on the kind of like the outskirts. Mm -hmm. It's up to you guys. Regardless, you will be traveling through. The Penta Market to get wherever we're going. Yeah. Oh, well, we can stop at. Uh... Yeah, old faithful. There's also the Pillow Trove that you guys investigated within. Ah, uh, the... there's no way we get into. Not there. <laughs> the district of that. The same. Let's yeah. take. Let's go to one we haven't been before. The evening nip. <laughs> no, you guys have been to the evening nip. Oh. Wasn't oh, yeah. the song and supper in like the less good than the? 
Leaky Tap was Medal of the Road. Song of Pepper was Leaky Tap. Yeah, kind of. In a way. Alright. Uh, I say we go to the Leaky Tap. I say familiarity is best. Okay, yeah. Old Faithful. Let's go. Old Faithful, exactly. Okay. Uh, are you guys stopping by the Invulnerable Vagrants on your way through? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah? I thought we were going to park. Right. We have to go past it, so. I guess, so, uh, but like, well. whatever. Um... Dude, we gotta think like a tourist. You can't just go backwards. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. You can't just go backwards. Well, no, you gotta, you gotta park your bag somewhere so you're not lugging them around. I we have a wagon. Where? <laughs> I was... We have a wagon! <laughs> God! I'm surrounded by yeah. assholes! Um, okay, so. Uh, you guys head into the Penta Market, um, here in the uh, western portion of Zadash. Um, a, uh, a large sprawling bazaar um, set up in this district, and you can see a number of carts and tents, uh, lines of buildings that line the. Um, you know, the somewhat paved, semi-paved, semi-cobbled streets um, of Zadash. Uh, you can hear a number of people kind of barking their wares, um, kind of calling out, you know, you know fresh fruits, uh, come get your fish, stuff like that. Oysters, clams, and cockles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you also see a, a small, uh, you know, child, about a 10, 12 years old, um, walking through, handing out flyers, and uh, yelling a bit of news. Uh, you hear, Hear ye, humble peoples! If you have any information or know anyone who might have information on anyone who would cause discourse within the Empire, please see Law Master Orintha Stonegrasp. A reward has been prepared for anyone who can provide information that will lead to arrests. Hmm. There's a pause, and you hear, the righteous brand are holding their annual gauntlet of honor in two days. Sign up within the king's hall and speak with Herald of the Hall, Volashin. Those who stand victorious within the gauntlet gain a special contract with the righteous brand and the pot of 5,000 gold. And you also hey, hear... Hey, uh, money, 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 money. You also hear the memorial for this city's beloved devout of the Raven Queen, Jessamine Tate, will be taking Ooh. place next week. A family sends the thanks for all the gifts and well wishes they have received in this time of loss. Those who yeah. wish to attend the memorial can make their way towards the ossuary gates next week. Yikes! And they continue. Oh, no for me, dude. It's a no for me. They continue on repeating that as they make their way through the Penta Market. Okay, so money, yes. Memorial, money, no. Yes, please. Guys? Memorial, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 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 No. <laughs> wait. I'm just saying. Lane, money. Lane, money. Not actively after us, but they could still send, like, private Lane, people 5, after us. 5,000 money. 5,000 money? 5,000 <laughs> money? But five thousand money. Five thousand money is a lot of money, you guys. <laughs> anyway, yes. Hey, hey, Dameron, you know, like the righteous brand is like a group of soldiers, and like I think you could you could win this gauntlet of honor. Actually, you're so good. Well, would it be a good idea? Yeah. Like, you, you swing your hammer really good and you, like, protect us, so I think it would be great, actually. Y'all want to be students for the Empire, I guess. Like, oh, but they're I, offering, the money! Just because they're <laughs> offering a contract doesn't mean we have to sign the contract. Correct. And it can be, like, a temporary a one. I don't know. You know, I just say, no, thank you. I was just having fun, you know. I like just, hitting just things. Five thousand gold. You were just in it for the money. <laughs> yeah. Alright. But also, to... it might However, this might sound crazy, but it could be a good way to prove if what our mutual friend did actually is effective. If we get in the public eye a little bit. Yes. Same it might be risky. It. it might be risky, but it might alleviate any fears of ours if we are 
actually in the clear. That's a point. The, in, in, the in, fact... in the clear of what? You hear Kaiden oh. say. Oh, hi! Come on, come on here. You know what? I wanted to ask you about the gun, but we never had time. So, you uh. know, could you please, like, be a I... very nice friend and be forget cool. what I... What you heard here, like, please? Right. Um... <laughs> so, clear of what? We'd sort of upset someone the last time we came through. We just wanted to let it cool down before we came back. Yeah. No. <laughs> Make a deception check. That's, that's the gist of it. That's not a lie. Why? It's a lie. It's a lie by omission. A lie by omission is still a lie, so make a deception no, check. Uh, yeah. Also, my portent nerds need to roll their, their portent. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. My portent nerds. Oh, I'm just. Mm. Um, so 17. Leave okay. it in. Thank you. Alright. Um, he just kind of nods his head. Oh, huh. Well, I know all about upsetting people, so very well. Mm. Yeah. Well, and let's... sometimes you don't even mean it, and it's just a misunderstanding, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we do the necessary things that we have to do in town before that. So I if see. it goes to shit, we of can. Of course, said two days, right? Well, we have yeah, they said two like days. two days. So we can accomplish all our business here. Can you? Yeah. Would you be fine with staying another two days? That's the reason we're asking. Well, I believe. Uh... Lady Varen said that we, you were going to need a few days in Zadash anyway, so... Yes, precisely. I hadn't, I didn't know exactly how long you were all planning on stopping, so I planned for just a few days in case. Then two a few days. Felt... But let's not linger for that memorial. How long does the <laughs> no. yeah, but, all right. Is yeah. this a yearly thing, this tournament? Or is this a new, like... It's, new it's, a, yearly, it's a yearly thing, it's an annual thing. So, so, go on so that means... That means the elves just probably been here, yeah? How long does the gauntlet last? Um, usually just a day. It's like, it's just, um, oh, okay. it, it's a way for, um, actually make a history check, Alistair. And I would say yeah. Varen as well one? and Lyris. Yeah. Yay. It's like a one Natural one. one. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-one. I've been knows. four years here studying. Okay. I grew um, up here, you guys. <laughs> Lyris, you um you've heard of the, the, the Gauntlet of Honor. Um on the surface, um it is a uh, essentially just a recruitment uh, effort by the righteous brand to find um individuals who are incredibly capable uh to recruit into their uh their numbers. Um but you've also heard of, um, you've heard of whispers that also, um, some high-ranking individuals keep an eye on it, um, to see if there's someone or, or a group of someones that they themselves can approach and recruit to take on, uh, you know, shadowy operations. Mm-hmm. Um, you also know that it is, um, you can, uh, join by yourself, but usually it's a group of people who join, um, so. Oh. Hey. So, yeah, it's a group, but, I mean, you and Alistair are the ones that fight. I don't remember seeing any of that because it never really interested me, but... You have to be kind of careful, because sometimes, like, the Righteous Band is going to offer you a contract, but they're, like, shady people that will come, oh, look, I really like what I see, do you want to work for me? You know. But, no. it's... Yeah, you could just say no, I suppose. Also, um... Just don't say yes, and then they say no, because then it's, you know, you're in trouble. You also know the way it works is the participants, um, draw numbers, uh, and then, um... A uh, two groups are uh, chosen at random to begin the gauntlet. Uh, they fight it out 
and whoever wins stays in the gauntlet. The next group randomly selected goes in, and whoever outlasts all the other groups win. Do I know um, if it's just a martial thing or? Magic it's it's, as well? it's all ho it's uh, no holds barred, but you cannot Ooh. kill each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Okay, I wanna wait. I wanna <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So you realize the issue if we all try to go in no, I know. together. I know. Well, what? the issue, what? do you? No. What? We'd have to come up with some kind of group name, I'm assuming, if this is normal oh, thing. Oh, that's... no, we're not doing it. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you have to put the damper on it like Alistair, that? Alistair, why would you say something so terrible? <laughs> The moment you brand it, it's not real anymore. No, we only need a day in the dash then, that is. <laughs> Ooh, I think you remember something I want to do. <laughs> I think, I think 5,000 uh, gold are not good enough, you Yeah, 5,000 gold is not worth the pain of coming up with a name for you idiots. <laughs> You're all yeah. in be a temporary name. We could just call you the It's end. never temporary. You say it's temporary and then it's gonna stick forever and ever. Yes, no, this is too much commitment. Literally think of anything. It doesn't matter. Anything. Anything. Damn her, throw it out there. <laughs> throw it out. Throw out the loosely bonded. Dude. No, don't. That was your creation. <laughs> yeah, but that was out of character. It's great, though. <laughs> roll, hit, roll intelligence. <laughs> yeah, roll an intelligence check, Damron. Come on, give it to us. It's a straight That's such a good name for us. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. The loosely bonded is, uh, three is good enough. <laughs> What? Did you did you roll an actual twenty earlier he's, um, for yeah, your she for your point? Oh, you. damn it! <laughs> nope. you rolled a three. Also, you have to see That's someone me. doing the check, um, and this is some yeah. this is just Dameron's own brain. Yeah, but he's really stupid. Around. He's probably like, really. You can see it on his face. Not yeah. today, Chief. Asami, Asami pats Dameron on the shoulder. You can you can do it, and she'll cast guidance. Well, it's too late now. That's all I can do. Guys, it's too, too late, late now. Yeah, no. Maybe another day. You can try again really uh, tomorrow. Really Name doesn't matter. We can be that group over there for all that. <laughs> Who cares? These assholes. These yeah. assholes. Mysterious strangers. That's cliche. Should... <laughs> then we should get their stuff done today what... so we can sign up tomorrow. Whatever it matters, uh, not sure what my opinion is worth, but I knew uh, a mighty band of adventurers whose original name was The Shits. So. <laughs> well, wow. You know, that's can't get worse than that, I suppose. Seems apt. So we can call ourselves something as bad as the shits and change it later on. It Just change matter. it later, yeah. What did they change it to? It's not important. Come on, it's tell us. Yeah. <laughs> No, fuck you guys. Fuck you and your Vox Machina. 25. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. Why? Why? Is he nervous? Does you, he? Is you he you right? get the sense that it's not important. Why? Right. All right, it's not important. Come on, Kynan, you can't just drop like a story like that and then just like, oh, it's not important. Because now I feel like I have to know. Look what you've done to me. I don't now remember, I'm gonna have I don't to remember what they changed their name to. I think it's in one of Tyrion's books. Just read one Kynan. of those books. Oh, Lyris, I bought you one of those books. And I've been reading a chapter every day. Good for would, me. Have you really? You be <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm Keep just on. not saying that I am, but I am. The first three chapters are all just Tyrion's life. Yeah. The, yeah, 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 yeah. the first three chapters are literally just Doty brushing hair his hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's literally, maybe not a chapter, but she's reading a couple of pages every night before bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lyris, we came here for your armor. Let's get to that. Great! Right. Yeah! Yeah! Let's, Let's go, go see how to Demarin wants to take out the armor from the bag of holding. Oh, yeah! It's oh, here. Boy. Here. Well, I, is it better for us to take it when we're there? Because what, are you going to be carrying like there are lots of pieces? That's true. If you don't mind going to the forge, blacksmith. Sure. Yeah. To to reforge that I think would take a lot more than two days, Samrin. It doesn't need to be reforged. Just refitted. 
Yeah, just so he can fit on it. It's not that big. I think. Or, I don't know anything de- about furniture, determine, you guys. Did we determine if it was magical? The plate? It's it, it's, it is not magical, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. But I can go with you, or I can give you the bag of holding and you go, but it's up to you. I can try to get the discount. Maybe. Yeah. You can come with me when we're done here. Okay. Easy enough. When you guys, uh, as you guys continue traveling, you pull the wagon up um, upon the uh, since it would be, you know, kind of serve as a curb uh, here within the Penta Market, um, and you can see uh, up ahead of you, in front of the, um, you know, slightly kind of run down storefront. Um, you see the towering uh, height of uh, the Furbolg, Pumat Soul, standing in front of it, having a conversation with um, a, a halfling woman. And you can see she's handing him this large basket filled with uh, pastries and, and fruits. Uh, and he's just kind of smiling from ear to ear uh, as Pumat! you guys approach. I love Pumat. <laughs> Hi, oh. Pumat! Oh, uh, r- hello. Hi! You see, there's a moment where he's like, you see, he's like, I know these people, but he's like having trouble at the moment, and he's like, oh, your armor. <laughs> yeah, how could you have forgotten me, Pumat? I have to visit you more often so you don't forget who I am. No, oh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, it's been a, yeah, I've yeah. I've had a time. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Did you finish my armor? No, I did, yeah. Your armor is complete. Come on in, I can, uh, thank you so much. These look delicious. And he kind of takes the basket and I have they him really and kind of waves at him and steps away. They <sighs> really do look really good. Right, right, yeah. Come on in, I can show you, uh, your armor. Lyris, right? Yeah, you remembered my name. You're forgiven now. All right. And he just steps into the storefront. Uh, you can see the door itself has been slightly fixed, but still kind of just screeks uh, as you open it. Um, how how has been your co- like your shop? Have you had a lot of new customers? Because I did. You remember that I did like publicity and advertisement for you. No, yeah, I remember. And for the first couple of weeks, everything was going uh, or the first couple of days everything was going pretty good but uh business slowed down yeah well i'm going to do it again just oh, because that's... i like it i couldn't possibly ask uh but i did finish a few other pieces if you're interested in including your armor um and he goes and gets the armor uh from behind the counter and kind of lays it out on top of the the countertop as requested How much do I owe you? I forgot. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't remember. I thought you paid already. No. Paid no, half, I paid. I, I, paid, paid half. Half. I would have sworn it was like a thousand gold. You did it on five. Yeah. It was more than a thousand. I thought it was. I'm looking. Yeah, it's a plus one glimmer mm-hmm. armor. Mm-hmm. Study leather. Yes. Yes. No, no. Um, oh god. Oh, I've written so much since then. Uh, <laughs> I've so, let me see if I have it, anything on my note. Yeah, that's a rare item. I thought it was a lot more. Than no, I wrote, I wrote golden grin, a lot of question marks. That's the only note I have. That's the, of the entire campaign? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. I have obsidian order. I have black fang. I only have mm. the important stuff. Um, I have Lyris armor, one one thousand one hundred gold. Yeah. Yeah. Right. you? And she put down one hundred and fifty. She put down one hundred and fifty. Yes. No, sorry. I put more. More? Did I put more? Pretty yeah. sure you put just that. I just have one one thousand one hundred gold. I'm not sure if that is taking away what you've already paid or the entire cost. Probably should have kept better track of that, but I didn't, because, you know. Uh, I didn't either. I should have. 
I totally thought you were keeping track of that. That's funny. Yeah, because I remember I had enough money, and right now I don't. So I probably put more than 150. I would say, just because I don't remember and it's my fault that I didn't write it down, I would say you probably have paid half of that, so... Um, okay. You owe 550 gold pieces. Right. I'll give him... Well, yeah, I'll just give him 500 gold? And 550. 550? Yeah, so 500 gold and 5 platinum. Cool. Uh, he takes it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it and it is uh, enchanted per your specifications. You are so cool. Thank well. you. And I promise you that I'm going to make a lot of advertisement for you. So, you know, maybe next time like we get a bit discount next time we come and all that, you know. Yeah, all right. I look forward to uh, hearing your advertisement. Uh, was there anything else I could help you with now that you're here inside my humble shop? We all are we all standing there? I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So. Okay. You uh, you said you had uh, finished some other pieces. I am a bit light on cash, so I am interested in seeing if you don't mind. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, one moment. Yeah, I'm just uh, and he goes yeah, back. Yeah, I would really like some fucking money, you guys. Uh, he goes back into the back so room uh, for a few moments and then uh, comes back oh, out. Um, and he has uh, three things, um, two kind of under one arm and one he's kind of holding um, in his hand. It's just like uh, this very well-polished kind of oak box and he kind of sits it on the table and opens it. Uh, and inside you see this um, this like gold chain uh, that goes down and connects to this uh, circular amulet with these two kind of outstretched hands trying to grasp around a sun. Um, and he goes, this here is an amulet of health. Um, upon uh, focusing on its arcane nature, you uh, essentially will bolster your own personal uh, constitution and ability to fight off disease and poisons and the like. Um, if only Serrano were here. I really need that. <laughs> yeah, right? right? Um, uh, that's that. Uh, and he kind of like leaves the box open. Uh, kind of pulls the two things from underneath his arm. Um, one is this kind of uh, almost uh, like dark uh, leather kind of case. And as he unfurls it, you see within it is two wands. Um, and he goes, uh, the one on the left is this kind of crooked, gnarled wand uh, with like these bit of vines kind of wrapped around it going all the way up. Um, and he goes, that there is a, a wand of entangle. Uh, you just kind of point it towards, well, I don't know, something, uh, and cast the entangle spell. Um, and uh, this wand here, uh, and he kind of points to it, and this one is a much finer, uh, just this straight um, wand of this almost polished, uh, like, mahogany, um, like, mahogany cedar wood colored uh wand and the tip of it is just this very faint um kind of glistening bit of like reddish uh like almost gemstone it looks like it's very strange and it goes this here very quite simply wand of fireballs <clears throat> Well, this this wand here, uh, that would put you back about, uh, let's see here, yeah, yeah, that puts you back about 3,500 gold pieces, uh, the wand of entangle, roughly, uh, 950 gold pieces, uh, the amulet there, 4,000 gold pieces, um, and then, uh, the final piece, and it kind of pulls out, um, this, uh, it's like, strange, almost, um, like, porcelain horn. Um, and he just kind of sits it down on the counter, or just kind of wrapped in this little bit of, um, almost like soft velvet cloth. Um, and he goes, this here is the horn of silent alarm. Yeah. 
if you blow on it, you can uh, one creature of your choice can hear the horns blare from up to 600 feet away, and only that creature. Um, pretty neat. Something I uh, I myself created in my own thoughts. They're so cool, Pumat. Very cool. Very interesting. Uh, I that mean, that but horn so there is, uh, would put you back about uh, 250 gold pieces. You're so cool that I can't afford your cool stuff yet. So, you know, maybe it's going to be for another time. My unequivocal apologies. I'm so sorry. Oh, that is fine. It's not your fault. I just spent a lot of money in this armor because it's useful. And that's how it goes, you know, you get money, you spend money, and then you get more money, and then you spend more money, and when you know, like, you spent all of it. Yeah, that's usually how money works, I agree, 100%. Yeah. You get and then it, the and you person that it. you yeah. yeah, so, like, if I'm spending with you, then you're getting my money, so mm -hmm. I'm losing money, but you're getting money? It's really tricky. But you're getting beautiful, beautiful items. Oh yeah, and you you it's all worth it. Yeah, absolutely. I just wish I could afford these awesome items, but one day. Well, while you can't maybe afford these, in the current circumstance, uh, is there anything that you're looking to get commissioned or crafted, created, enchanted? Are you looking for any paper and ink or uh, potions, perhaps? Potions is a maybe. Um, I have a bit of a weird. Well, I have a bit of a weird answer, I'm sure. <laughs> Five. Because I'm not counting Alistair. I'm, I'm okay. thinking I'm going to price check if I bought uh, some amulets of non-detection in bulk. <laughs> right? How much, how much are those going to rush me? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Fucking sneakiest motherfuckers everywhere. Yeah, how much? Free gold I can give uh, to that. Trust me. Listen, I am fucking poor. I bought Code that spell and I've got no money. Um, um I uh, no money, pocket empty. No money, yep. pocket empty. Uh, I if probably would bank on it, winning the gauntlet. For this at the moment, but uh, how much would say? Oh, I don't know. Five assorted items of non-detection. Uh, Assorted items of non-detection, like I'd uh, say amulets, but I don't know if we all want necklaces. So. Right, so like, you know, rings, like earrings, bracelets, rings. Yeah, exactly. Something. You like know, that. maybe a tasteful toe ring, even perhaps. <laughs> um, perhaps, I suppose. No, I'm wow. never tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> um, very various assorted items of non-detection, something along those lines. Very rudimentary enchantment, if you're asking me myself what my price would be, uh, I would say per item, you know, anywhere in the 300 to 500 gold uh, range. Um, okay. Probably take a few days per item to finish the enchantment process. Yeah. I see. Excellent. Well, thank you for the, uh, for the check. I will uh, get back to you on that one. Sure, of course. We are making those bitches ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if we win that gauntlet, we can buy that shit wholesale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should Why not just make it? Um, so much cheaper. Save the money. Yeah. Pumat, well, I've... maybe if later, Pumat. Ask... How much would the material for those cost? If you have those, maybe we we are quite gifted magically. We're in, if we're uh, looking for a bit of a project. Well, uh, respectfully, that is where a majority of the cost would be going, would be me outsourcing to have the proper materials for the enchantment imported into my humble shop. Uh, because that in itself is uh, a large part of the enchantment process and uh, everything that goes oh. into running this shop. So It is no offense to your skills, you are quite apt at what you do, but yes. maybe Varin and I are thinking of picking up a hobby <laughs> in yeah. your Well, I mean, if one of you wanted to maybe, uh, to help me with the process of enchantment, uh, we could have it done lickety-split, and it would nearly have the price of, uh, of work. Uh, I've been looking for, into getting some aids or maybe some assistance for a while now, so... Ah, yeah, yes. Like <laughs> Looking for Thames, guys. Yeah, that sounds that sounds delightful, actually. 
I've never worked a day in my life, but I will. Well, today's the day, I guess. Go. <laughs> I, I mean, not today, actually, because we have zero dollars, but. Uh, when, we you are, know. when we have some fun. Dollar, dollar, dollar is elvish for you, gold. People. Dollar yeah, is exactly. elvish for gold. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, King. Um, yeah, so that'll be a future thing, but. Yeah, cool. What could it cost? Ten gold? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey Pumat, but for sure, yeah. in a few days, we're going to be back here to get some potions of healing. Sure, okay. Yes, we'll be in town for a few days and then on our way out, we'll probably step in to pick up a couple of potions. So. I'll be here, you know where to find me. Excellent. Yeah, and maybe, maybe, I will have advertised your shop and brought enough customers so you can give us a bigger discount on the necklace, maybe. Oh, I would certainly appreciate that. That oh, would be that, a huge boon. That gives me an idea, Lyris. What? And I look at Puma. We might be thinking of entering this gauntlet nearby. Would oh. you like to sponsor you? That is a great idea! Well, that would just be the kindest, uh, most thoughtful gesture I could think of, yeah. Um, so, like, you sponsor us, and then... And if we can get a sponsorship discount of at least 10 to 5%, I am willing to negotiate. Next yeah. persuasion check. <laughs> Me? <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Hey, Cole, Cole, mm. I really liked the way you said it. I think you are the best. Get a bardic inspiration. <laughs> Good job. Oh, fuck. Alright. Here we go. Right. Oof. What's the bardic? Hey. D8. D8. Rolled a 14 on the die. I would like this to work, please. You rolled a 14 on the die. Oh. Rolled rolled a 14. 14 on the die. So, 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 so 14. 14. 14. So 14. Yeah. Sexy. Zero. Come on. Well, let's agree. Okay. Just kind of thinks for a moment. You know? That's not a half bad idea and a good way to get my name out there. How about this? Hmm. If you do enter this gauntlet, uh, when you're out and... Whatever it is, I'm not really sure what this gauntlet of honor even is. Uh, when you're, when you're doing it... Um... Just, uh, just, you know, holler out, uh, you know... Go see Puma at Soul, the Invulnerable Vagrant, in the, uh, the Penta Market, uh, for all your enchantment needs. I think that would Leave be, Leave it uh... up to me. I will create a beautiful poem as advertisement for you. Oh. Do you have, um, a flag or banner of some sort <laughs> you could use? Do you have t-shirts? Unfortunately, <laughs> I... I haven't thought that far ahead in my advertising. Um, not yet, but maybe How soon. How about this as a bigger example of your magical prowess? We would take one of your items into this um, gauntlet of prowess as a test drive, as a showing, a demonstration for the... Many made And then we shall bring it back. Make a persuasion check. Fuck. <laughs> Brilliant though, man. You know what? I I, I think that was another good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Having so many good ideas. I'm so proud of you. Yes, take another. Waste them all day. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, I get it back on a short rest. It's fine. Three. Ah! <laughs> he rolled a 13, he rolled a 13. Okay, so a 12. Plus D8. Plus, Plus D8. D8. Fuck the important people. Uh, oh! okay. 16. 16. Uh, let me kind of thinks for a moment. That's a good point. Lyris, if you wouldn't be so kind as to uh, really show off that armor when you're out there in uh, that gauntlet. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's a good point. <laughs> sure. I would greatly okay. appreciate that. Damn. I was like, can we buy the fireball one? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no holds but barred, play. but let's not destroy the competition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's destroy him. Fireball, fireball. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, Pumat. I I'm will, charging. and I will specially create a poem to recite just before we enter, and it's going to have your name and your shop's name. Don't I suppose worry. we could simply Can pretend. I, poetry reading? I suppose we could simply pretend the items we already have were items you made. Well, I know. have an item here. Well, I don't want to so. be disingenuous in our advertising exploits. I think we should at least try to have a modicum of respect for people's intelligence and circumstance. Well, But I appreciate the sentiment. Well, I do have this hammer that you made. And he has that hammer that I made. I wish Maybe I could remember making that. <laughs> it's been a long couple of weeks. Very well. Then I suppose we are finished here. Well, I look forward to experiencing whatever this gauntlet is, uh, and I look forward to seeing you all out there praising uh, the invulnerable vagrant and all of its enchanting glory. Are you well. planning on being a spectator at all? Oh, of course. I'm still fairly new to Zadash, and I very much always look forward to uh, all the different festivities. You know, a couple of weeks back, they had something called the Hazel Festival, and people were just running around and, um, you know, not very tastefully designed costumes. Um, it was the strangest experience I've ever had. Yeah. I know, like, people don't give us fan art, but I just want sexy bull strucker Halloween costume. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that would be. Just robes with boob flaps. <laughs> you know, I hate tastefully like... placed crystals. Tastefully I love placed the crystals. Hazel Festival. Yes. I won a costume contest. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Were you tastefully costumed? Yes, I was an angel. Of course you were. Hmm. It well, was great. Well, I look forward to seeing everything that you have, uh, you have to offer there in that, that gauntlet. Well, I think, um, we should... Do you run out of potions very often? Or do you usually have them? Uh, not too often. Usually people don't really purchase them. We don't really get an in a large influx of, uh, what you would consider adventurers. Um, just today, just this morning, actually, I, I sold quite a number of them, uh, to just the strangest group of individuals, but, uh, yeah. That Tell was... more about them. Who were uh, they? Well, it was this, um, this kind of feral-looking halfling woman. Uh, not the baker who brought me my goods or anything, but just very feral. Uh, she was, uh, she was in the midst of just a, a number of kobold individuals. Um, not sure what that's about, but they were, they seemed lovely. But you said there was a group of people, right? Yeah. A feral halfling they... woman and a number of kobolds. Oh, so... Be the... <gasps> right! I didn't think of that. They could. They could what now? Could be in the gauntlet. Because it's a group thing, you know. Wow, I didn't make that connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, maybe we should purchase some potions later before we go to the tournament and then purchase more for our trip. If you have money to purchase potions right now, that's up to you. <laughs> but I, I don't. Am, I am I saying I might be Unless great. they're no. in silver. I think. No. May. Uh. Who bought armor? Yeah. He's, he's, Alistair's going to move up to the desk, and he's going to take off his pack and begin rummaging and pulling things out. He's going to pull out the hearts, claws, and um, tails of the wyverns. 
and the vials of spite phase spider blood as well as the do 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 looks all around umber hulk oh wait the umber hulk guys are in the bag aren't they you put them in the bag right yes and yeah he just puts those out for now uh, and says i have some things that could work for enchantments if we might possibly be able to trade do you want to look i should oh, just open you... the bag of holding are i know you, you put some shit in there are you looking to to make a commission of sorts or if we could just trade these reagents for um for, uh, for some what? health potions some potions of healing i see oh okay um he kind of looks them over. Interesting. Uh, you also encountered a wyvern. You know, a couple weeks back I heard word of a wyvern attacking the, f uh, the farm out in the southern uh, outer steads. Yes, we killed them. <laughs> oh, that was you all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, check you out. You do get around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, let's see here. No, everything still looks fairly okay. Uh... Have you been keeping this under some kind of magical resistance to degradation and rot? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh. Yeah, sure. I can do that. Uh, I would say with all of these. Re <laughs> Shut up, Siri. <laughs> Wrong shop, Siri. I'm not talking to Siri. you. <laughs> Siri, you fucking doorbell. Shut up. Um. Well, I would say, uh, considering all you have here, uh, I would be more than well, uh, more than willing to part with, uh, four potions of healing, or two potions of greater healing, as it were. Uh, totally up to you. So either what, or. what if I include these? He's gonna pull out the end for whole guys as well, from, uh, Lyris's bag, since she said she was opening it up. Oh. I would say for those... We can do an uh, additional either or. An additional so, potion um, of healing or additional greater. Hmm. Well, I only have three oh, greater nice. potions of healing in stock. The, the feral halfling woman kind of tapped me out on those. Perhaps we go half and half, two regular potions, one greater. If you so wish, we can do it that way as well. Just to sort of maximize the spread, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what you think is a good idea. Sounds good. Alright. Mm. Well, let me go ahead and grab those potions for you, and I'll take these reagents off your hands. Uh, then he goes and gathers up the potions, brings them out. Two potions of healing and a potion of greater healing uh, is yeah. given to you guys, and... Uh, you give them the, uh, you give Pumat the wyvern uh, stuff, uh, <laughs> the Umber Hulk eyes, and what was the uh, third thing? Two oh, potions of phase spider blood. The, yeah, the, right. The, uh, the eyes or the hide? Because I have hide I... and, and... The hide uh, Well, fine. okay. It's not a reaction. Did you remove it? Did you remove it from the bag already? Because I don't have eyes. I, I removed the eyes. Okay, great. Um, Thank you. Okay. Wait, didn't he say it could be- Yeah, no, I know. I was suggesting that before the eyes when it was an even four split. Now I don't know what to do, because we were supposed before... to get either five- Two each, then. Yeah, wasn't it supposed to- couldn't we have- Yeah, two each, then, maybe. Yeah. Two each. Yeah, so it should be another greater, yeah? Because I yeah. think he, he said He was that. either gonna do- he was either gonna do three greater potions of healing, or, or five, five potions of regular healing. potions of healing. Okay, so would it be possible to get two and two, then? Uh, you could probably do, you, you could probably do, th like, one and two, or three and, uh, yeah. three and one. I'd rather three and one. Yeah, then uh, let's do the three and one, because, okay. if, if we want to think smart about this and say that we're going to use these all in the gauntlet, we'd want to prioritize giving the potions to the people that can heal other people, so we might as well have less of the greater potions, and more yeah. of the lesser potions. Also, as, sense. as a note, it could, like, if, if fate is on you guys' side, you could be the last ones to enter this thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all going to be random. Okay. I'm going to be rolling, so. Oh, Three yeah. Three and one. Then. Okay. Three and one. Then. Uh, no, no, I think the opposite. I think we go greater. So how many greater can we get? Yeah, we so just... three greater and then one regular greater. healing. No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> oh, no, other way around. That was all the way bad. around. I can, yeah. I can buy yeah, yeah. I can buy a regular one. We how have 30 just, platinum. Yeah, how much is the... 
yeah, if you we just can buy the take ones. greater, it would be yeah. um, with, with, with the Umber Hulk eyes included, it would be three greater yeah. potions. Okay, okay, and then Lyris can buy the regular one. I can I can take. We have thirty platinum in a bag of holding. That is it's, it's um. That's three hundred yeah. gold. Yeah. 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 So, so I can get fifteen platinum and, and get a regular one. So I okay. know I I am carrying three regular and one greater. Already. Oh I know. shit! Holy I know. fuck! Yeah. I had no idea you had that many. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so okay. So Lyris gets a greater for sure. Alistair gets a greater for sure. So that we keep the okay. healers up. Uh, so I should get. Don't give me any. Yeah, you already have one. Yeah. Um, um, I have one regular. I don't need a greater. I don't have a lot of hit points. What's going on? I have zero. Zero? What's uh, Asavi have? None. Probably None. also zero, because she okay. uses them so a lot. Between, between you two, who wants the greater? Yeah, hey. these went for Asio. At least they Asavi can do heals of some sort, right? Yeah, she has the I... healing hands. It's okay, yeah. I get to her. She gets greater then, and then so go, I'll give me the normal one, yeah. Normal. Okay, cool. Good stuff. And, Healing hands is a And how many are you life. buying, Lyris? Yeah. One for her. One for now. Like, one? No, not for me. No, not for me. It's one regular and for whoever. Yeah. Okay, so that's mark off five platinum for that. Five platinum? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 50, 50, it's gold. 50 gold for a Oh, I thought it was 150. I don't no, know. No, it's 250 okay. for the graders. Yeah. Wait, then we buy two. Yeah, okay. we should buy. Yeah. There you go. You buy two. two. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put cool. it on the bag of holding for now, and then we decide who gets it. Okay. Uh, so, well, so I have a regular, Asabi has a regular. Asabi has so a greater. I to count them off. Oh, you have a greater. So the three graders we just got, one went to Alistair, one went to Lyris, one went to Asabi. Uh -huh. I already yeah. had a regular, you have a regular now, and then Dameron has a shitload. So it's Perfect. <laughs> and there are two regulars. <laughs> and there's two regulars in the bag and of holding. there's two regulars in the bag of holding. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. once again, yeah. good luck in the gauntlet. I look forward to seeing your, uh, what you can do. Fantastic. You all have, you all have a wonderful much. day. It's good to see you all again. I do have one more question for you. Oh, no. Well, Easy now, one. now it's awkward. Uh, we were saying our goodbyes. <laughs> uh, what, what is your question? Uh, she pulls out the little horn she fashioned. Now, I made this for, uh, a divination spell, um... Arcade magic is, is new to me, but I, it only allows me to hear, and I don't know what kind of material component I would need in order to be able to see. I thought maybe you could give me some advice. Oh, is this a, is this a, a divining uh, type uh, component for some sort of... Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, well... If you have a horn for hearing, you you might need some like a monocle or maybe spectacles for sight. That would make sense. Yeah. Um. Do you know where in town I might find something that would kind of fit the monetary uh, value? I don't have the funds for it now, but just future reference. <sighs> um. I mean, there are plenty of. Uh... Of jewelers here in the Penta do Market. I, do I know this spell and do I know what the material component that you would need for seeing is? Only because I'm a divination wizard. Uh, you would know of clairvoyance, yeah. Clairvoyance. Yeah, so I know that you need not glasses, but a glass eye. <laughs> yeah. But Soul is not a divina divination wizard, so. There's not a divination wizard. Uh, yeah. in... <laughs> she sidles up to Asavi and just like <laughs> sort of like whispers in her ear. She's like, you don't actually need glasses, you need a glass eye. What? Yeah. Huh. Fairly glass expensive eye. one, too. Damn. Yes, um... Alright, thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> thank well? you, Puma, for your... Yeah, of course. Advice. Excellent. You have a wonderful uh, day. Yes, cool. Now we can say bye. Bye now. Before we're... you get to say your buys, I do have another one as well. Oh man, you bastard! All right. Yeah. He's what? gonna pull out that massive fucking diamond. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. wait, no, that's in the bag of holding, isn't it? Oh yeah. Where, where is it currently? Is it in the bag of holding or is it my thing? I don't remember. We. I mean, it's in the bag of holding. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, then uh, he's going to turn to her lies. Am I taking out the diamond? Sure. You can take it to herself. Come on. Uh, this is our bag now. He's going to grab it <laughs> and hold it out to Pumat's soul. It is our bag, uh, comrade. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, comrade. Uh, we found this. Back and we're wondering. Back. I wanted your opinion to see if this would be usable for spells such as um, raise dead. Is this the one you? Is this the one you had appraised in Diastock? The yeah, one yeah, that I appraised. Yeah, the shitty guy. Yeah, the shitty guy. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Was terribly inexpensive. Okay. Yeah, we want the real answer. <laughs> yeah, Puma kind of. Well, I'm no jeweler, but uh, let me take a look. I can probably give you an answer, and he kind of. Grabs it and pulls out this old jeweler's piece and. Oh, well, An old jeweler has a jeweler's piece. Wrong guy. <laughs> kind of puts it into the other eye. Uh, looks it over. Yeah. Um, it's kind of. Wow. Where'd you say you found this? Kind of hands it back to you. Uh, no, oh, that's that's a substantial find. Probably one of the most expensive diamonds I've ever seen. Uh, you're probably looking at a good thousand gold piece worth of diamonds right there, oh. sir. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can we split it in two? Yeah, take it to a jeweler and get it chopped in half. Yeah. Chop that bit. Yeah. Uh, perfectly. I, like I don't. I'm not sure respectfully who cut that, but uh, you should find that person and shake their hand. I've never seen craftsmanship that fine. Remember when it was only ten? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was inexpensive. Uh, yeah. Sami's just sitting there, just like. Fuck. <laughs> I knew he was onto some shady shit. I didn't know what, but shady he was some shady shit. And you, and you, didn't, you didn't know how much shady shit it was? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, thank God I did not sell that to anyone. Thank you for the help, uh, help with that. Yeah, of course. He's just gonna uh, but to answer your back. question, yeah, uh, whatever spell you're looking to. Uh, use uh, for a component of uh, something like that uh, it would work wonderfully whether it's you know of uh, of an evocation nature or uh, perhaps a little necromantic but the good kind of necromantic not the Just this mage. not the unsavory Medical. kind yeah. Just a necromantic yeah no bad well thank you for the help sure now we're now done. Now it's goodbye for it's sure. No, not the And one city. more thing. If you have another and question, I'm going Jackie? to... Jackie! come later after we go to the hotel. <laughs> it's not more goodbye. One thing! It's see you later. It's see you later. See you oh, later. that it is. See you later. <laughs> Bye and now. I'll tell you another thing. <laughs> uh, so we're... Sh you know, guys exit point. out yeah. of the invulnerable vagrant. So we are. So then, where do you want to go? Actually, doing the... this gauntlet thing, huh? Yeah, yeah but first, I... we have to uh, get them and his uh, armor. Yes. Settled. Well, I uh, I hate to burst everyone's bubble, and I, by that I mean I do quite love this. Um, you have to go to the king's hall and sign up with the uh, the herald of the hall and the uh, you know the man that we were avoiding collecting our money from. It is so, fine. We can use Lyris um, to sign up as someone else. Perhaps we can. Uh, I don't know if she could sign us up, though. Uh, I. As a group. I think that we should just take this opportunity in stride. Everybody's going to have their eyes on us anyway, and go get what's owed to us. But you know. I do believe that at this point, we might as well just rip the bandaid and just try it. Go into the king's hall and see if we are in the clear or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are right. Perhaps we wait till tomorrow, though. Of just course. In case we do get chased out of town. I mean, you know, you always got me. I can go in there and sign us up. Easy peasy. I don't know what one... You might... Hmm. It would not be very... We all had to give our... Sprites are not very common. Fine. <laughs> no, let's Yeah, well, hell, ne neither the kobolds and Puma said they were just running around the city. Oh yes, kobolds. You are much more uh, I wonder what that's about. agreeable than a kobold, I will say. Have you all ever heard the story of two kobolds in a trench coat? Most... Well, no, but I have heard the story what? of two girls in one cup, and uh, well, I gotta be honest. <laughs> was that a fey thing? thing? It was a fey thing, yeah. Mm. Just gonna say it, avoid the theater if you ever go to the Feywild. 
Tamron, did oh, you just ask what a trench coat was? It's something you wear Maybe. over to to avoid the rain and dust. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds handy. Well, if we're going the there point tomorrow, of the story is that they pretended to be someone. And if you guys are going to do something about armor, I was. I need to check out the library. I would love to go to the library. I also have to go see the doctor. Right. Uh, so how about this? Uh, one of us go secure some rooms. I still have some platinum on the back of holding, and park the cart, and then. You go to the library with Varin, I'll go to the shop with Damren. I don't know what Cohen and Alistair want to do, but you know, it's just like as we're running around with the cart. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and if, if it's all the same, I will, idea. um... Oh, sorry, I... Kynan, you were so quiet, I didn't see Yeah, you. no, it's fine. Um, I... I'm just quiet by nature. Um... Hmm. If it's all the same, I'll go with whoever's going to procure rooms, just so I can settle in for the evening. I yes, think the rest of us can go towards the room. I can do that. Yes. By the rest of us, you do mean yourself, because I believe Alistair is also going to the library. So, How so you do just mean library? you and Kynan. Oh, wait. There's a library trip? I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Now we're all doing something. I fucking hate all of you. Well, I'm not familiar uh, with Zadash, but I can procure rooms for all of us, I guess. Ah, uh, listen. As where is employer. the... I appreciate that. Where is the, uh... The library in relation to wherever the hell we were going to stay. Are if we passing it? If you're staying at the Leaky Tap, the, um, the, Valley of, uh, the Valley Archive of the Cobalt Soul um, is uh, in the Interstead Sprawl. Um, uh, it actually hugs the western edge of the Penta Market. So essentially you have uh, the western gate, the Penta Market, and then the western edge of the Interstead Sprawl is here in the archive mm -hmm. is here um okay. where you guys are going uh, is the outer steads which is uh the slums that kind of hug the very inside of the the outer wall um the leaky tap uh, essentially if the penta market's here the leaky taps like over here uh so okay. you have to go in and then down god, bef god well, i don't so mind a walk like... let's yeah before oh, we go to the library course. we should just go drop this man off i don't want <laughs> we'll be trucking him around the city yeah. Let's just go get stupid rooms and we'll go back to the library. So here's what the, we, we all go get rooms and then and then you and I will go to the blacksmith to get your armor fixed and maybe I can try to get a discount. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's not make it complicated. All right. Fair enough. To the leaky tap. Yeah. All right. To the to the leaky tap. Um. <laughs> I had to filter leaky nip out of my brain for a second. Yeah, I right. almost Jesus said leaky Christ. nip as well. Um, so, you guys head to the very familiar Leaky Tap Tavern uh, in the uh, western outer steads of Zadash. Um, the very large but simple tavern, um, very plainly uh, decorated. Um, you see uh, behind the bar is like the somewhat slim, muscular, um, white dragonborn, or Wessick. Um, and you can, uh, this time, whereas previously when you came, there was a kind of slightly off-key band playing in the corner. It's just kind of quiet now. You can hear, like, the faint murmuring of low conversation. Um, what tables are within the main area? Uh, most of them are filled up, uh, with people. Um, uh, one of which, um, kind of... Almost, there's a moment where you guys walk in, uh, and your brain doesn't really understand or know how to compute what you're seeing. Uh, as you can see, um, sitting at one of the tables is what appears to be, uh, roughly an eight and a half foot tall humanoid elephant. Um, you can see, um, they have this kind of ornate, almost, uh, almost like clay red, um, headdress on their head. These tusks that go out, 
um, this strange kind of grayish leathery skin, um, wearing these very light and breathy um, kind of clothing uh, and arm wrappings. Um, and you can see they're wearing a tabard on the front of their um, clothing uh, that reveals um, on a, a golden circle what appears to be this platinum trumpet uh, with a uh, like a victorious looking flag shooting out the front of it. Um, and they are just in the midst of conversation with the people, uh, the other people at the table. Heraldry that anyone would recognize? Yeah. Make I his, do anyone that. trained in history can make a history check. Oh. Excellent. Where's this? Tell me. Let's see if I've I heard cry. anything in my stories. Let's see if I've ever uh, heard of a fucking elephant person. Wow, yes! 27! I know all about elephant people because nice. why wouldn't I? Uh, you do. Um, both Ren and, and Lyris, um, both of you looking, um, at the entity, um, you know, there's a moment where you're like, we should probably talk about the elephant in the room. Um, wow. and... I was waiting for that. Yeah. Uh, and it comes to you. Um, you've, you've heard of such entities, uh, known as... Uh, Loxodons, um, a, a humanoid elephant race. Um, you, neither of you have ever seen one. Um, much like a, a number of the other races, they are kind of solitary folk. Um, you, especially Lyris, know that they, they are very, you know, calm and wise. About as calm and wise as they are strong and formidable. Um, you also know, um, yeah, with the National 20, um, you've heard tale of um, a uh, city of beasts uh, within the borders of uh, the Kryn dynasty uh, called Osarius, um, who you would think would be opened to such creatures, um, but for whatever reason actually has an open bounty on any Loxodons that one might come across. Um, but that's what you guys learn and as far as the hel heraldry of the tabard uh, you Lyris uh, recognize uh, the tabard of the trumpets of victory uh, a small mercenary band um, out of uh, Talonstat um, that are um, mostly known for fighting against um criminal activity and corruption uh, within um, like the Labinda Swamp uh, Hopper Duke area. Hey, Varin. Yeah. Is that the Laxathon? Yeah. That's not I don't... Sarah? That's rude. Um, I'm not... Rooms. I'm, I'm being discreet. Right, of course. I'm sure you are. Rooms. <clears throat> also, also, guys, that... Is so cool. Like loxodons are so cool, but yes, they're very cool. Let's not talk about them right in front of their face. Also, incredibly I'm rare. Quiet. Okay. Um, they are part of the, f the trumpets of. I forgot. Trumpets of victory. The victory, and it's like a, like a superhero band that fights criminals. Wow. <laughs> superhero band. <laughs> I don't have the emotional capacity to process that. I do, however, yeah. have the emotional capacity to process rooms, and she just goes to the fucking desk. <laughs> so the desk, you see Wes, it kind of turns, kind of, uh, cleaning out a mug. Yeah, what can I do for you? Hi there, we're looking for, god, how many fucking people do we have traveling? <laughs> uh, it's the seven. Six, uh, seven, find in seven rooms, if you have them, we're willing to double up if necessary. <sighs> We're kind of book solid if you're looking for um, a place to stay. Uh, we have three rooms available. Let me just say that. Ah, wow. wow was a, that would be us all doubling and then one person at a triple. Yep. With a, mm. There's a lot of... Uh, people coming into town. People coming out of... Exactly, the gauntlets. Yeah. yeah. 
It's fine, we'll make do. Fine. Uh, I've been ter turning large groups away. Some people have uh, found out that the pillow trove has vacancies if you wish to spend uh, about triple of what you would spend here. A but... million gold, yeah. No, we'll, uh, this will do. Thank you. Sure, you want the three rooms? How many days? Yes. Uh, God, how many days away is this stupid thing? Two days? So, what, like three? We need maybe three days to start with. Three days, sure. Uh, put you about, uh, four silver a room a night, so. I will do the math on that. I'm very smart. <laughs> 36. Jesus. Thank you. 36 silver. So, three gold, six silver. She's yeah. gonna get her abacus. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So 36 uh, silver per room. Per... Dameron? No. No, he said four. it was four silver per room per night. Four, eight, twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 36. I'm leaving this call. <laughs> no, I'm leaving no, this call. No, 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 no I fucking hate this place. I'm Everyone sorry. can bully me and it's okay, but you get bullied one second. You're like, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Nobody can leave. I'm insecure, Elsia. Fuck. I pull out three I'll... stupid gold and four fucking six no, stupid silver. No, no, don't do that. We have it. We have a lot of silver in the bag of holding. I'll just get thirty-six silver in the bag of holding. Okay. God. You have thirty-six silver. He hands you three room keys. There you go. Second floor. You've been here before. You know where it's at. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we just fucking. You look tired. I'm always it's tired. Good. It's going to be alright. Once the gauntlet is gone, things are going to be quiet. But you're probably going to earn less money, though. That's the downside of things, you know? Wow, less money's okay. fine, as long as I'm not bothered. Sure. Okay. Alright. Do you want food? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't want to make you make us food, because you seem like you've got a lot of Oh, I plates. won't be making it. Someone in the kitchen yeah. will. Excellent, then yeah. You got it. Thank you. Cool. Supper's in about four hours. See you then. Let's go to the All right. You know, guys, I miss Bo from Tears Talk. <laughs> wow. Cool. So. He was um, my favorite innkeeper. So I know Kynan's staying here. Is he the only one staying here? Is everyone else doing yes. things? Everyone's there. I think everybody's doing this. Okay, so Dameron yeah. and Lyris are going to the Smith, uh, and everyone else is going to the library, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. So as you guys split up and make your way into Zadash to do that, we're going to take a quick break. Excellent. Good. <sighs> so. time. You guys, I can be Babar! <laughs> I hate it. Here. B -R -B. You didn't know about Loxodons? Like... No! Oh, oh my god. So cool. My yep. mind is... <laughs> you guys are so They're great, yeah.
leather armor to give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've... I'm covered. Yeah. Would... I can't wear armor and do the, the cloaky cloak. Yeah, fair enough. Um... Okay. Yeah, they were gonna say, um... Maybe give that to no, Varen no. and you take the armor? No, 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 that's fine. You take the armor? I don't no. know. No, 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 yeah, because it's the same, the same AC. No, don't worry about with it. the cloak or with the clo without the cloak. Is that is that a fact? Uh, yeah. Well, Alice yeah, because not because studded, studded leather is twelve and it's a plus one, so it'd be thirteen plus your deck, so it would be the same, yeah. the same it's bonus. Kind of, yeah. No, but it's, it's, but it's your call. <laughs> it's your call. Of course, it's your call. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what no, you, no, no. What no. you got? Because no, it's fine. you're like spending a spell slot on that, aren't you? Yeah, but you know, it's just it's just the spell. And sometimes slot. you forget, I'm, so it's, I'm very conservative with my spells. Don't worry about it. Have have a cookie, and you also get the uh, the I don't want to be perceived with my yeah. head up. Don't look at me ever. Yeah, I mean you <laughs> you, you would be you'd be saving a spell slot, and you wouldn't have to prepare it anymore. Exactly. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. I don't, you, I don't you want to two, you two discussing this are like two Canadians arguing. No, you have it. No, 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 please, you, you do. No, you, yeah. no, you. I just don't. I don't want to yoink anybody's item. I'm good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure it will get passed around again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like when, 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 when I was in college it. and my mom got a new car mm -hmm. and I got her car and mm -hmm. then I gave my brother my car. We yep. all got an yeah. argument. It was all good for everyone. Exactly. So, and you guys uh, set your things down within your rooms. Uh, some armor is switched around. Um, yeah, go ahead and take it, man. Okay. Okay. Six. So you, um, Lane, add a, a plus one set of leather into your, your inventory. Uh, My thing is always clicked. Okay. And that'll be, uh, well, that'll be lit. Uh, so... Um, I want my armor to be looking like a pretty dress. Okay. All in magenta, purple, and pink. I'll just test it to see if it works. It, it works exactly how you were hoping. You can change <gasps> the armor to look any which way as long as it's, you know, clothing. Holy shit, Laris. That's. Oh my god, this is so useful! And it's so useful, imagine how, it's like, very I don't... Yeah! I just like the colors, you know, but it was just a test. I mean, imagine how, like, guys, I turn into someone, and I can just copy their armor, and don't have to, like, find the armor that fits a guy or anymore else. What? It is just a note. It, it is an illusion. It still feels like armor, it just it looks yeah, yeah, yeah. like whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so... We know, we know, we know. Uh, so, uh, Lyris and Dameron are heading to... Oh, whoops. Got to, got to turn the, the cam face back on, goddamn. Um, so you two are heading to the, uh, the smith, like and the rest of you are heading to the, the archive. Library. Yes. Library. Okay. Uh, so handle the smith first. Um, both of you make your way back towards the Penta Market. Um, you make your way towards, um, you ask around for a bit and you're pointed, uh, towards the Spark Hammer Smithing, um, which is a, uh, a smithy, uh, here within the Pinta Market, um, that mostly specializes in, uh, like, intricate items, but also does, you know, armor and, uh, and weaponry whenever they, they need to. Um, as you get there, you see it is ran by, um, a... A set of halflings. Uh, the one who kind of, you know, throws a hand up and greets you all. You see, is a uh, a deeply tanned, uh, you know, slightly kind of almost coppery reddish skinned halfling man uh, with the short black hair um, and then these very muscular arms. It almost looks cartoonish given his diminutive halfling size. Um, you can see he's wearing this uh, long leather apron and these thick uh, leather gloves. Um, it just kind of puts a soot-covered glove into the air as he greets you. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Um, and then she'll pull the pieces of armor and put it on the counter. Can you help me here, Demeron? Because this is a kind of heavy. Oh, yeah, Demeron will help <laughs> take it up. Easily so, heft it up and put it on the counter. I recently came across, this is like a family heirloom, and... 
Uh, I don't mm. really wear armor, and I don't have anyone that could. So my friend here wanted to know if you could fit it to his uh, body, like Hello. his physique. Here, here. I see you want to um, have it fitted to your yourself. Yeah. If you, if that would be possible. And how much it would cost as well? Well, let me uh, take a look at the armor itself. Uh, and he kind of looks over and, at it. And, uh, and it's pristine. Yeah, Super you, you clean cleaned it with the press yes. yeah. uh, He stretches it out and like, does measurements on it. Um, uh, if you could come behind the counter, please, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Um, he gets on a stool and like does measurements on you. Ah, uh, well, uh, given your, uh, your formidable size, I would not have to do much to it. Um... However, uh, given the materials and time, I could probably have it done in the uh, within uh, the afternoon, perhaps by uh, dusk. Um, oh, it would oh cost, that would be perfect. It would cost you roughly uh, about fifty gold pieces or so. Oh, that um. Easy. Yeah, wait, but my father said that I should ask for this. Um. What? Is there any discounts that you can make? Like, I could probably. Just, you know, advertise your shop for you. I'm very good at that. Eh, well, uh, Jen, and he kind of points to the female halfling who's still kind of cring, cring, hammering away at metal. I uh, handles all of our advertising affairs. Spark Hammer Smithy is, uh, we are not lax on business currently. Um, so, uh, probably not. Right. Sorry. Mm. Um, okay. But I can have this done uh, fairly quickly for you couple of hours easy um, and then you can come pick it up uh, did you want to change anything with it uh, what does it look like um, currently it's just your normal um, kind of like squared uh, full plate armor don't want to change anything hmm. it looks it almost looks um, it almost looks dwarvish and, and make given it's like boxy almost uh, make up to it. Maybe put some color on it. It's so dull. Yeah, it just looks like you know, slate gray iron colored, essentially. What about um, blue? Blue. Yeah. Well, it would match. We match the the cowl that I saw we made. Yeah, so like maybe some designs in blue here and like on the Just belt. Blue trim. Yeah, and it you know like it would emulate like the color of thunder. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's do what she said. Blue trim. Yeah. Around the um. Yeah. Okay. Sure, uh, probably be an additional 10 gold pieces for that, uh, That's fine, I'll cover work. that. Sure. Can you do anything to make it less boxy? Uh... Sure, I can do that on the house for you, give it a little halfling flair, huh? How about that? Easy enough. Sounds good to me. Excellent. So... Come back in a few hours, and I should have, uh... Your armor sorted for you. Um, Do you want payment now or later? You will, you will need to pay in advance, however. 60 gold pieces uh, will sure. count in total. Uh, Do you I'll have fi I'll no, have I'll that. take. I'll get the 10 because it was my idea to put the blue. Consider it a gift. Oh, well, thank you. And I will have 50. Okay. I'll give him one platinum. One <laughs> platinum. Takes the platinum, takes the 50 gold, puts it away. Uh, grabs the armor, which is surprising given his small human, or small human, small halfling size, he just kind of picks the armor up, folds it on itself, and just kind of hops down from the, uh, stool he was standing on and walks over towards, uh, the, the collection of forges here in the back of the, uh, smithy. Alright, few hours. Have a good one. Thank you. See you then. Hey, Demerin's got to look so cool. At That's first I thought green, you know. To, co to like to match the green hue of your skin, but then I thought, you know, him. <laughs> I am sure it will look amazing. Yeah. You can't say the name out loud, you know, in the dash, because they are not allowed. But you know what I'm talking about. 
I'm not scared of saying his name. No, you can't say his name because he's not allowed in the in the empire. He could get in trouble. Just for speaking I... his name? Yeah. It's it's really shitty, I know, but it's like I thought it was just the worship that was outlawed. Yeah, but then you speak his name and then people question you and then next you know they're accusing you of something you haven't done. It's a mess. So better to be safe than sorry, you know. Fine. Fine for now. Yeah. Thank you. I don't want to, you know, have to break you out of jail. <laughs> I'm pretty I could sure do that. I could... I'm pretty sure I could break myself out. Well, yeah, but I be, like you breaking yourself out of jail would mean like you would hammer the lock until it's open. Me breaking you out of jail is like no, very delicate. More goodness. but it won't come to that. Don't worry. Good, because you're the hero of my story. The hero of my story cannot go to jail. It would just not fit, you know. <laughs> I suppose that would not fit the narrative. Well, it could give an interesting twist if the hero of the story was falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit and he go to jail and then, oh, I might go, I'm, I'm going to give this a thought because that's not a bad narrative. Hmm. You're just going to make it up? Yeah. That's what stories are about. Like, I take a little bit of what the truth is and then I embellish it a little bit to make like a good hero story. And, you know, you add a little flourish here and there. Just like this guy that, you know, Verin, Verin bought me a book. And then she'll show, you know, this guy flourished a lot. I mean, I don't believe half of us is right in here, but it's a good story. Is that a weird book? Yeah, it's, um, you know, like back in Deastock when Verin went to this place, when she got all her paper and stuff? Yeah. So apparently she got me a book too. I was surprised. Because, you know, she's like all cold and oh, I'm a nice bitch and stuff like that. But, you know, deep down, I feel like she has a heart in there. Because she remembered me and she was like, oh, I'm going to buy this to my friend. And she called me a friend. Of course she is. Of course she has a heart. She's still with us. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, I know she has a, a very grumpy demeanor sometimes, but, you know, she's still here. Well, I don't judge people. Good, you shouldn't. I mean, unless she they give you a reason. Her reason. Right, but even if they give me a reason, I don't judge them. I mean, it's just a waste of time to do it. I mean, if I if they give me reason to judge them, then I just don't want to deal with them, you know. Yeah. But you know, I feel like maybe there's something. I wonder, like, sometimes I'm curious, like, was she always like that? Imagine, like, Tiny Varen. What do you mean? Like, 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 imagine that. You know when she talked about her dad and her siblings, and they are pretty shitty. Like, from what she said, they are pretty shitty. So imagine, like, she's sitting all prissy on the table, and her dad's like, oh, that's not the right fork, Varen! And boof, ice spell. And then she has to dodge it. I mean... I'm just assuming that's how it went because her family is all made of magic people or something. I, I think that's a little bit beyond me. Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, I just, I just think about a lot of things. I have a very big imagination, you know. I but I feel I like, bit. I feel like the environment makes you who you are. It's not just like you're born like that. The way oh, you're brought up, the way your parents treat you, and, you know, it makes who you are, and, and makes me feel a bit... I wish she had had more love growing up, because maybe she wouldn't have been like that. No. You know maybe what? she would have smiled more and be more happy, or happier. Well... We can do our best. Yeah. I guess. Maybe she will. She is warming up. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go back to the so. inn. And um, they're doing boring things in the library. Oh. All right. If only they, like, they, they actually wanted to read like night stories. No, they just want boring books. Come on. Well, they're learning a lot of useful I know, information. I, know. I wish I could go there and read. Oh, you know what we should do? We should practice teaching you how to read. Come on, let's go back to the inn. Let's learn some letters. Oh, Uncle K. <laughs> Alright. So as you guys head back towards the leaky tap to presumably teach Dameron some letters, um, <laughs> the other four head towards the uh, Valley Archive of the Cobalt Soul. And I believe Alistair and Asalvi have been here before, if I'm not mistaken? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys visited once before, and you can see uh, as you make your way in towards this section of the Innerstead Sprawl, um, you, know, you can see where the um, uh, essentially the four towers of the archive rest, they flank, um, what you can see behind it is the uh, beginnings of the Penta Market, um, and you can see the, the main tower is this, this tall tapering tower that kind of curves off, um, at the, the top into a, a dome-like pinnacle, um, and flanking this main tower are three smaller spires, uh, the stonework it's, itself appears to be this almost smooth, concrete-looking texture. Um, and currently in the uh, somewhat uh, like late afternoon sunlight, uh, you can see uh, some of these intricate carvings uh, on various tiers that kind of spiral down the exterior of the tower. Um, as you enter, you are uh, greeted by... Um, a uh, young uh, human man in kind of learned looking uh, robes um, as uh, he is just kind of currently in the process of scribing several large tomes um, you can see behind him in the, the greater interior of this uh, library are a number of curved staircases that you can see are carved through uh, bookshelves themselves. And as you guys see it, especially for a Salvi and Alistair, as you're seeing it for the second time at this point, um, immediately that strange place you visited in that vision kind of comes to mind, and you can almost see once more in your mind's eye that, that peculiar vision that you were granted. This, this heavily resembles uh, the bookshelves and bookcases that you guys had seen within that vision. Um, and you can see uh, a number of corridors that lead off towards separate sections of this place. A number of um, what appear to be, you know, kind of lithe and athletic-looking individuals and um, very light-looking garments uh, walk around. Some kind of carrying tomes, some speaking with individuals, some apparently um, escorting, uh, visiting people to the library, um, and the human man kind of looks up at you all. Uh, hello? Hi? Welcome to the, uh, uh the archive of the Cobalt Soul? Good afternoon. Can I, uh, can I help you? Kind of looks to the others. <laughs> you were the one that we were all tag along for you. Uh, yeah, of course you can. She looks at Asabi like you're the one we followed here. Why are you looking at us? And then steps forward. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course we're uh, looking to get a bit of light reading done if that's possible. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, we can do that. Uh, we have a, a large section of our library open to the public. Uh, let me uh. uh let me, let me see if I can get someone to, uh, to escort you around. We, we do require that you sign in and you have an escort. That way you, you know, yeah. Behave. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. <laughs> you can see he's like, I don't want to say here and I don't want to uh, assume anything about anyone. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um, he seems very young, like maybe in his late teens, early 20s. Uh, Poor guy. He just kind of pulls out a small uh, 
tome and sets it on top of the ones that he's currently scribing, kind of spins it around, uh, pulls out of uh, a quill and dips in some ink. Well, if you could, just sign in here in the book and I'll flag down someone to escort you around. Sign in, yeah. Sign in, fuck it. All right. I have some things I can look up. Sign in. All right, you four sign in. You can nods. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah. oh, uh, ah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Leliana, can do you want to look around? Yeah, I know. Okay, she'll help you. Uh, excellent. She'll uh, she'll she'll watch you. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to say watch you. She'll. Make sure you don't get into any trouble. Yeah. Are you new Shut here? Up. Yeah. Is this your first day at the desk or something? It is. I'm actually covering from a friend of mine. A uh, nice tiefling girl. Um, she usually runs this, but I, uh, she's sick, so, you know. <laughs> I'm, Fair uh, enough. I'm taking Fair over. Enough. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, and he watches uh, uh, one of the kind of lightly dressed uh, uh, human women kind of walk over uh, you can see her hair is kind of uh, pulled back um, and it's almost actually like braided on the side um, in this like tight bun situation um, and she just kind of like crosses her arms <sighs> right then you wish to look around the archives hmm yes yes certainly are you signed in yep Steven? I know, yeah, they, they're in the book. Alright, follow me. Excellent. And she leads you towards the, uh, you know, the, well, very large, but a tenth of the actual size of the libraries. The, the spot that's open to the general public. Jesus. Mm, cool. Uh, so we get the ship off. Savi will linger by the desk as they're let off. Okay. I was actually hoping. To oh, did you? Uh, you yeah, need something oh. else? Some yes. water or something? No. Um, I'm actually hoping to speak to someone. Uh, Archivist Luciana. Uh. Ooh. Why? We have a mutual friend and uh, topics of the. Uh, Academics and interest in common. They told me to come speak to her. Ah. Uh, uh, if she's um, not available now. I she. Think. I'm. I don't know. If she <laughs> is. Um. This poor man. Uh, I can check. That would be most maybe, appreciated. Maybe I'll check. Ah, uh, who's your friend? Just so I can give her a reason to, to come out and talk to you. Uh, he goes... Uh, Mr. Derrigan? Okay. Sure. Uh, and he <laughs> gets up and walks towards one of the long corridors uh, in a partition section that um, you, you're not allowed to go into. Um... A few moments pass, and uh, you can see uh, him just, he returns, and his face is just beat red. Um, and walking behind him is uh, an equally as red uh, tiefling woman. Um, she has these this almost like umber, silk-like hair that just kind of goes down and is braided into like these triple loops behind her head. Um, you see, she is wearing. Um, you know, it's very almost like Chun Li style monk vestments. Her arms are wrapped, and she has these uh, triple curled um, black obsidian horns, um, and these just intense, uh, kind of almost coppery red eyes. Um, and you can see she's just kind of eyeing you from a distance, trying to gauge you and figure out what you're about as she approaches. You asked for... me. Uh, 
Miss Luciana. Uh, Asabi Chorus. Lovely to meet you. Hold out her hand. Who are you? My name is Asabi Chorus. I um, met with Kelios Derrigan in Diastock. Um, I'd like to speak to you privately if you've got some time. I don't know anyone by that name. Sorry. He insisted that I come and speak to you. I believe it's quite urgent. Apologize for the confusion, but I don't know anyone by that name. They don't exist. I would know. He's gonna pull out the sending stone if you'd like to speak to him. She looks over at the human boy, essentially, is like just like looking back between the both of you. Don't you have duties to be taken care of, Steven? Um Yeah, I I do lots lots of stuff. Sorry. Uh, he like rushes away. Hey, Steven. She takes the sending stone. She just puts it in her pocket. I would like that back, actually. If you'd like to. He told speak you to, to come here and ask for me. Yes. As a matter of some emergency, I'd like to speak to you alone, please. You do realize invoking his name in public is not a good thing, right? I'm... I'm sorry I'm not that familiar with your organization. That was the name that I was given, and... Well, he should have warned you I that he was again. wanted by very powerful people. I didn't know that name was associated with... I'm sorry, I don't mean to make any trouble. I... I'm just afraid I... I bring more. It's very important, please. Make a persuasion check. Holy fuck. <laughs> 25. Very nice. It is Please, very important, people. Mrs. Luciana. Very well, then. We can talk. Sorry about this. What's your armor class? <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Uh, pull up her character sheet real quick. Hold, please. She's gonna do that cobalt soul, kick the shit out of you until you tell the truth thing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> She's gonna do extract aspects. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to make sure you're not some weird... <laughs> I'm hey, earnest here. Me, I'll tell you what you want to know. Me, I just want to let you know the fucking- the way that I've been speed running through the five stages of grief ever since you said that man's name out loud. Out loud. <laughs> Ever he specifically told you to yeah. only tell Luciana his name. Yeah. I've been fucking hundred yard dashing. Um, so- <laughs> Did he say that? Uh, I assumed like no one else would know the, that name. The, the first- the first attack- on the, it's on the wanted sign. It's, want, it's on the wanted sign. It's on the writ. I thought yeah. it just said Black Fang. No, no it does say it has, Kelly has, yeah. Black Fang, Kelly Yeah, it has his, it has his name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all right. Uh, the first attack is a 27. Uh, second attack is a 19. Uh, third attack is a natural 20. Fourth attack is an 18. Uh, Keep going. I guess I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> you just got your ass beat. Oh my. She's not trying to kill you. Um, however, 
Um, well, you good. you do take uh, <laughs> forty points of damage. Thank you. Uh, you take thirty nine points of bludgeoning damage. Jesus Christ! You are not thing. off. Uh, and I need you to make four Constitution saving throws. Uh huh. Sure. Um, now, do you want to fail these? We'll see. Now, uh, hold on. Is she I actually up? just all stunning. See how, how yeah, beat exactly. I am. Fourteen hit points. God damn it. Uh, okay, four Constitution saves. Beep. You already failed. You, you failed the first one. Um, in, a, in a flurry of motion, nary a sound is made as she just four attacks as quick as a whip. The fastest you've ever seen anyone move. Faster than anything that a Alistair has ever done with his hex. Um, you, you just feel your body just get essentially uh, stunned and you, you just drop to the ground. A little bit of blood kind of pooling out of the side of your mouth. And he watches a few other people kind of stand and like rush over and she puts her hands up. It's alright, everyone go back to what you're doing, I'll handle this. And she pulls your hands behind your back and manacles you and begins to drag you uh, towards the back. In that oh, corridor she came from. A perception of this for everybody else? That I, need, is I, need every, I need everyone else to make a perception check. Do we want to succeed is the real question. Do I want to see? I think I just want to close my eyes. I know, right? I think I don't want At to see. Point, you know, you Ooh, can choose Bryn. to ignore it, Bryn. Yeah. Uh, Bryn, you, you do see this. Unfortunately, I can't choose to ignore it, and I'm going to go over there. Oh, fuck. Um, however, I would just like to shut my eyes. Okay. As as you begin to approach, uh, the woman who's accompanying Idiot. you also notices this and just kind of goes... That is archive business, ma'am. If you want to peruse our books, you can, but otherwise... I mean, I don't know why my friend getting the shit kicked out of her by one of your archivists is archive business, but I'm afraid mm. it can't just be archive okay, business. she broke the law, so... You can either leave or continue perusing the books. That's your two options, unless you wish to follow her in cuffs. Your choice. How stealthy is a cat in the library, guys? Let's find out. <laughs> oh oh my god. god. How stealthy is an Android in the library? Well, Android's invisible. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Just in case. Yeah, I. I, uh. Fine. I will go back to sitting at my table and immediately tap Alistair on the shoulder and go, Did you fucking see that? I see it by like when she walked around that I turn around and see the Salvi yeah, you, dragged you, you away saw, cuffs. You, you saw Varen like get up like what the hell and was immediately stopped. Yeah. Uh, great. I was, uh, but did I see Asavi uh, behind her being pulled? Uh, you, no you, you saw like the the last bit of Asavi's like legs as she's dragged down the <laughs> corridor. Well, the dragon, then he uh, would immediately have mentally told injured. Hey, follow them if you can. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you got it. What do you know what that was about? Burn? Apparently it's archive business. They're saying she broke the law? If she actually did, I'm going to kill her, but Hmm. Should we try and follow? Um uh, apparently it's archive business and none of our business that our friend has gotten the absolute shit kicked out of her in the middle of a library. Well, what were your options? Alistair as a note, uh, as Indra yes. reaches the entrance to that corridor that the Savi was dragged down. He blinks out of existence. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, Asavi's fucked. <laughs> it's what As you speak, he just slowly, reluctantly pulls his hand up and snaps his fingers again to bring him back into the Holy life. shit, what the fuck? Yo, Alistair, there's some crazy stuff in the corridor. Well, seemingly they are protected to even for familiars. That's. Uh, the options were uh, cause a fit and go with her. Or uh, sit back down and mind my business. And uh, I've got a lot of books to read, so. Well. Hmm. She wouldn't do this just out of the blue. I don't know if she had a choice with the way she was being violently dragged across the floor after being beaten to a bloody pulp. I really don't know if that was, like, something she actively chose or. What I'm uh, trying to like say. Passive choice. The things that led towards that. Whatever they may have been. 
they must have some purpose. Asabi is not unintelligent. Intelligent people can make stupid mistakes, Ko. What could she have possibly said? Did Asabi ever tell us that? No. Nope. No. Nope. No. 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 Definitely not. She only wanted to tell Steven the goals. <laughs> um, Alistair will say, well, perhaps she sits looking at the outside and dying. To a follower. Maybe. Right. Ooh. Well, um... Anyway, I'm going to search up my book on Yeah, dragon. anyway, I'm minding my business. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Delicious. Anything that you might need help with, I can more than uh, gladly help you find within Do the you have any public book section. Partic particularly on something called. I forgot the term. Ruin, remind me. He, he beyond the stars? He who watches from beyond the stars. He and who I watches from anything. beyond the stars. Anything Just throw it. Throwing it Just out. throwing it out there. Hit throwing it against the wall. Yeah. Watch she thinks for a moment. No, nothing that is open to the general public anyways. Oh, well, that's peculiar. Oh, cool. Do you have any other book on, say, um, known dragons and names associated to known dragons? We have historical text on dragons, um, but dragons are born and die every day, so it's hard to keep a track on, like, current dragons. Well, active dragons, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to figure out. Too. Just, you know, throwing it. Are you looking for one in particular? Perhaps, uh, we have plenty of texts <laughs> on, uh, a group of chromatic dragons. God, what was his name? I'm looking for the metallic verity. Oh, I see. Um, Named uh, Zalavox. Zalavox, yeah. Zalavox, you say? Indeed. All of you guys get put in chains. Yeah. We we have a number of tomes on Zalavox and his exploits. He was a a guardian of our mentor, Ayun. Oh. Yes, hmm. lovely fellow. Gifted. Uh, friendship by uh, Bahamut himself. Mm. Right, yes. Uh, I would like yeah. to read up on him. Well, certainly, I can gather those for you. It's about four tones. Thank you. Um, I'm looking for and I'll let you handle the Zalavax stuff first. Um, any sort of tomes on diseases, whether of the mundane or magical variety? Oh, yeah. Anything I can get my hands on. A number of those tomes are currently checked out to uh, members of the Cobalt Soul, but we have a, a few uh, copies of some of the ones we had that I can gather Any for you. Any particularly obscure ones would be delightful. I've pretty much done all the surface level research. Sure, of course. Anything else? Uh, so, do you require anything in particular? She looks towards you, Alistair. Um, books on... Kelimvor? <laughs> <laughs> well! We're going to pretend you didn't say that! Uh, Why? I'm gonna walk into a public library and gods. go, Hey, you guys got a Koran? You got Just the, you got the books on the banned gods? Uh... <laughs> You fair. got the books on the Lucifer and say, the La Ark. Okay, you got books on this random entity that nobody should know about. B whatever, the guy who watches. Ball of the Dragon Mark. books. And then banned god books. Two things. Also, Two my things. friend just got the shit out of her. You're allowed to research without worshipping. <laughs> so if you don't worship, it's okay. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so Two, the last time we were here, they literally said, like, we don't care. <laughs> All we... together is just wild. Guys, we're supposed to be the intelligence party. Hey. I hate Lane, this. Oh, she, just to you. she is caught off guard, um, which is what her expression was. Um, she nods. We have a number of books that were dedicated to uh, previous pantheons uh, of a bygone age. Uh, one of which contains the judge, Kellen Vol, if you wish to peruse it. Lane, as an aside, Lane, just to tell you... Uh, 
I was thinking of saying some shit that would have thrown us in jail, but Cole is not that stupid. <laughs> I was thinking of, you know, we've met Zadavox, but nope, I am not that dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought about it too. I was gonna be like, oh, like, he was like, I'm pretty, he was, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Varin said he was yeah. a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I said lovely yeah. fellow, but that doesn't, that fellow. doesn't it implies that I've met him, but it yeah, doesn't no. outright say yeah. we've met him. So it's I was just thinking of doing it. Tongues, you know? It's very ambiguous, <laughs> that statement. Yeah. Lovely fellow. From what I've read, yes, he is quite lovely. Um, I would like to thank you, Ivan, for just highlighting what a fucking idiot I am. Thank you so much for doing that. I was thinking about doing it. Oh, man. I thought you rewatched I mean, last week's session. I love it here. I haven't. I was no. I was re, re, I was. Re, I was. I was. Because he literally said, "Say, say my name to no one except." No, I was rewatching the the one where we met the dragon and went to the thing to make oh, sure I got all those details right. I see. I see. I see. I see. But not I the see. most recent one because I'm. That's so funny. Okay. Um. Excellent. So uh, all those books are gathered and brought to your table for you guys to peruse and read. Um, as that happens, Zafi, um, after, uh, a few moments as you're dragged down this corridor, um, you watch as Luciana kicks open a door, uh, behind her, uh, and drags you into this small, um, what almost feels like, whether magically or otherwise, um, this very, like, uh, temperature-controlled room, and you see a number of, like, uh, books lining the walls within it. Um, and she just kind of drags you in and slams the door behind you and just, like, pinches the bridge of her nose as she pulls the cuffs off you. And in that moment, you <laughs> become unstunned and you just feel like ass. <laughs> you just feel like you got your ass kicked, which you kind of did. Right, uh, sorry about that. Genuinely, I apologize. For what, what just occurred there. Um, but poor Steven heard the name you said, so I had to make it seem like you were not allowed to say that name. Um, uh, well, I'm, again, and she like pulls out this uh, potion and hands it to you. I'm fine. No, <clears throat> please, I insist, drink this. What is it? It's a... She, like, drinks some of it and hands it to you. It's a potion of healing. She'll take it. Drink it. It's actually a potion of superior healing, so... Gee, thanks, lady. 8D, Holy fuck. 8d4 plus 8. Here, oh, I beat okay. your ass, and here's the cure. <laughs> You yeah, she roll, beat your you roll only with a formality. 8d... 8. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Be it's like... 8d4. I'm going to be I'll beat your ass. Oh, okay. Here's all a right. sense of being. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Yeah. Sense of being. Alright, 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 alright. So you heal... You heal back everything... Well, no, not everything she did to you. Poor Steven will be stuck with a death scum forever. Because of yeah. what you've done. Pretty much. <laughs> Oh man, why can't I per why can't I ever go up? What am I doing? <laughs> and this is why Lane's not playing an intelligence character, <laughs> bro. I literally feel. ever again. No, I'm I feel a fucking idiot. Oh god. All right, <laughs> so um, and she like reaches behind one of the shelves and pulls out uh, two like um, essentially like wooden collapsible chairs and opens them and sets them down in the room. <sighs> Okilio sent you. Yes. Um, he wouldn't have told you that name. He wouldn't have told you to come see me if we didn't trust you. But you understand. You can't go around saying you know of him in public. I'm sorry. Especially now. The king has his little spies everywhere. So. I hope you understand. Um. Right, uh... Where did you meet with him, by the way? I'm sorry? Where did you meet with him? Deerstock. Just a few days ago. Interesting. <laughs> and... Uh, why exactly did he tell you to come seek me out? 
Oh, uh, she reaches into her pocket and hands you back the sending stone. Thank you. Several weeks ago, my a few friends and I were in the. Now I'm fucking blanking out the Siren Green Forest. Mm -hmm. Um, on a recovery mission, we were looking for an artifact for one of them, and we came across a temple, a very old temple of Ayun. Hmm. I, I, they don't know, but I had been pushed in that direction by the goddess herself. Uh, it sounds silly, I, I know, but and she'll go into the story of what they found there, the different puzzles they had to get to that room. Um meeting Zalavox and the vision um, of the Endless Scene, Athenium, describe Ayun, the you know older woman, silver hair, olive skin, purple eyes, um, and how just the whole, like, how it, the wall tore away, the spears of light, um, and then we awoke. Salah box was covered in metal again, dormant. And you said this temple was in the Siren Green Forest. Yes. I have never heard of a temple to Ion in the Siren Green Forest. I don't think anyone has. Um... Is it still there? Yes, I believe so. I, it was a bit weird. We tried to exit through one of the doors, and then we all of a sudden we were outside again. Not through the passage that turns you around, not through the second corridor, but we were just at the door, and the door was different again. Hmm. I don't know if it could be reopened or not. I'm... And Kilios was tagging along on this endeavor, or he was—he was not with us. I—we met him. We had been hoping to meet him, arranged a meeting before we left for after we got back for a completely unrelated matter in his in his guys's black thing I, I don't think he, he knew about this previously I told him of it because I we recognized the tattoo his staff I crowbar and he was crowbar yes uh the color was telling. Um, I thought that finding other followers, other worshippers of Ayun, would be the best thing. I don't. I don't exactly. I'm not from here. I don't know where to go or who else would help. Hmm. I've been having before this. I. Had visions of omens and the stars. Uh, the stars. Yes. Certainly not Ayun's domain, from what I can remember. No. But the constellations, there's a gap, and where stars should be, a field of black and red lights blinking. We recovered a tome from the temple, and you have it with you. Not, it's not on me. No. One of my companions, she 
was trying to identify it, find out more information of it, and she said she had a vision of the same thing, blackness, stars, and red, red lights. Uh, what was the girl's name? There was a name as well, um, he who watches from beyond the stars. Bolothamog. 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 Mm-hmm. She said she felt. No, she. Did... You didn't give us details about. No, I didn't explain. Okay. I didn't explain that I was dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. It's all. I don't know exactly what it all means, but it didn't seem like something to be ignored. And well, I I think I'm in Wildmount for a purpose, and I think this might be it. Do, out of curiosity, do you know an expositor Dairon? I've never heard that name. Hmm. I don't... Forgive me, I don't know what an expositor is, only that Kalios calls himself one. You wouldn't happen to be the individuals who were wanted a few weeks or a few days ago, would you? But what? You're an Azamar, yes? Um... Judging from your... Your physicality, your your eyes, your skin... You're an Azamar? Uh... Yes. Do you travel with another Azamar? You also travel with a turtle? Yes. And an elf. I'm starting to slowly she... piece together how you know of Expositor Derrigan. And why we were tasked with cleansing your names not a few days ago. I... Oddly enough, in Deostock. Prime Arbiter Sednak Truskin was attacked. Wouldn't happen to be you, would it? Or at least you aiding Kilios? You can be honest. <sighs> Liz. Spiteful quest continues. Interesting. Well, if Kilios trusts you, and Iron trusts him, I'll trust you. I don't. I don't mean to be a cause of trouble. I just. No, well, you're not, and now I feel even worse for kicking your ass. <laughs> I could tell when I, um... When my fist was making contact with your, uh, your chest, I could tell that you were a... an honest, good person. It's an odd thing to... Gather. We we have you one very old tome that I think you would like to look at. I can show you to it. I'd be up for any guidance. Thank you. Now go get the rest of your party. I don't. 
They didn't know that I was coming to speak to you. Uh, you wish to keep this a secret? But, because but we can. No, I mean... I don't... Did Kilius say to all of you who he was, or just you? Just, just to me. And there you have it. Follow me. I'll show you to the tome you want. Alright. Fuck you, Lane. <laughs> uh, I'm she's... glad I didn't try and help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stunning strike type stand. I could maybe also still be in some trouble. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I just got to be shit. She doesn't share she's what she's like, said. She anyway, doesn't share her vision. Okay. She doesn't share anything. We simp for him when we don't know how cool he is. So, um, you are led to a similar room to this one, um, a place where they keep the much older tomes. Um, they've probably, from what you can tell by the setup of each room, um, used these rooms to very gently open and copy the tomes and then try to preserve them within uh, these uh, very controlled environments that are these rooms. Um, and as you look around the one you are presented into, you can see... A, um, these strange, almost, uh, clusters of, uh, crystals that are, that are placed into each corner, um, of each of these rooms. Um, and they just kind of give this very faint, almost, you know, pulsing, undulating, uh, glow. Um, as you sit down at... A desk in this new room you're presented with. You can see a number of transparent bookshelves line the walls from uh, floor to ceiling. Um, there is space between these bookcases only at the corners where those large crust, uh, cluster of crystals are placed. Um, you can see on the spines of the books within these transparent bookshelves... Um, some have lettering, uh, some, the lettering is long, faded, um, some has language on it, but as you look upon it, the letters themselves almost seem to shift and move on their own, making it nigh impossible to read. Um, and as you take a seat, uh, Luciana grabs a stepping stool, goes towards one of the transparent, uh, bookshelves. Um, and the book she pulls off, while it doesn't look as ancient as some of these other books, you can see it, you know, looks anywhere from like four to five hundred years old. Um, and on the front of it, you see the title of it. Um, well preserved in this beautiful um, uh, kind of gold filigree um, and lettering, uh, like this almost shimmering gold thread. Um, do you speak Elvish? Mm -mm. No? Okay. No. Um, <clears throat> Luciana uh, looks at you clearly having trouble with it and uh, says uh, you don't speak Elvish? Afraid not. <sighs> well, I suppose I could read it to you then, huh? Yes, please. Very well. This tome here, and she kind of points towards the uh, the title of it. Um, the title is, and just to for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to actually read you it in roleplay. Um, the title is Elder Evils: uh, colon, What Existed Before Existence by Calreth Arcanon. Um, you. Uh, as you open it, uh, there is a foreword in the front of it. Uh, it seems to be an excerpt from the, uh, the book itself. Uh, and you read, Blinking Endless Field, the shroud of darkness that rests between the stars. Him who watches protects his reality from us. To hear his voice is atrophy. To feel his touch is endless torture. 
But to look upon his face. To look upon his face is to watch your very existence. Your very touch upon the world. To blink out, tossing you into an endless spiral. You watch in a corner of your own consciousness as your very memories are snuffed out or, no, plucked away and consumed. What makes you, you, is consumed until there is nothing left but a hollow shell that can do nothing but scream until your heart gives out and you die alone, confused, in a prison of your own mind. You continue reading past the foreword here. And there's a bunch of information, all of which I wrote down so I can share it in Luke's notes later. Um, you read that Balothamog was believed to have been an entity that existed before the founding. It, he, Calreth posits that he existed while the Prime rel Realm was still toiling in chaos, trying to come into existence. He is described as the darkness between stars, something no mere mortal has ever, nor can ever, presume to even attempt to understand or rationalize. He is an elder evil, something that predates creation, gods, the current, or any pantheon. Kaurath continues that he is the eldest elder evil, a being that could cause even the gods or other powerful entities of other realms to shudder in fear. He has no physical form to speak of, but those who have felt his presence have described him as a conglomeration of glowing red spheres that are reminiscent of strange stars. Some believe him to be the universe's first atropole, a stillborn god. While some historians believe that gods themselves were created by the will of the universe to give sense to sentience, Bolathamog might have been a failed birth of one such god. No evidence backs up this theory, but it is something that Kaurath strongly believed. And then he kind of begins to write almost in a, a first person. It is a theory I hold unto only because we know of at least two other instances of Atropals in the Elder Evils, known as Dindar the Night Serpent and Kezif the Chaos Hound. Kezif itself is known to be the cause of the Founding and the birth of the Primordial Chaos that gave way to what we know as Exandria now. By all accounts, Bolothamog could be our existence's very first deific birth, but alas, one cannot be entirely sure without direct contact to one such entity, and that is one conversation even I will not dare to entertain. And you can read one last note on Bolothamog before I move on to Dindar, because it is an entire collection on the Elder Evils, is this. It is speculated by only one written account of contact with Bolothamog by Archmage Yoranda Huleth, who I must note wrote down the encounter while she was watching her own mind atrophy and die. She wrote in her last moments that she believed, given his power, that he, Bolothamog, existed across time and space. He existed in the past, the present, and the future, simultaneously. It sounds absolutely insane, but something to research further for sure. You continue to read and you learn a little bit more on the other Elder Evils. You learn about Dendar, the Night Serpent. It is believed that Dendar was created when the universe had its first dream, and with it, brought about its worst nightmare. She was an entity who devoured whole worlds within the prime material plane. She was a colossal serpent with blue-black scales, yellow eyes, and a huge maw filled with immense fangs. It is believed that modern-day Yanti still worshipped Dendar, but it's also known that long ago, shortly after the gods banished the primordials and brought calm to Exandria, they banded together and destroyed Dendar. 
It is believed that when her blood spilled over the god's first children, elves, they became diseased and mutated. They were banished by both their elvish elders and the gods to seclusion, and after hundreds of generations, the first Yonti were born. You read about Kezif. Kezif himself appeared as a huge mastiff, with unearthly malevolent red eyes and a ratty tail. Maggots teemed in his fur, which made the coat shift incessantly over barely covered sinews and bones. His flesh oozed like pus from an old sore, which would drip onto planetoids, causing the creation of unchecked primordial chaos. When Kezif created the primordials that would mold Exandria into the rock that the gods would eventually come and make their own, he was consumed by his own children. Something was different about the Exandrian spark, the planetoid. Something caused the primordial energies to pull strongly, and when Kezif came to look over his children fondly, they dragged him from the stars and shredded his atropal body to pieces. Some believe where places of unnatural evil is found rests a piece of Kezif. He spent about the next hour poring over this tome. It's not a big one. About 150 pages in total, but that's what you learn. Those are the important bits. Yeah. <sighs> well, yeah, that is pretty heavy stuff, yeah? said he existed out of time. Yeah, this is one elvish man's rantings. It could not be for sure. Is it so crazy to think of things out of their time? Plucked from one moment and put in another flights of fancy that only the the authors and the fictional writers create nothing like that can truly exist time itself is it is not a thing that we can we can mold or... It's not malleable, we can't do anything with it. We simply continue forward. Until our time comes to an end. But it never stops, it never changes, it never diverts course. So... Are you sure about... What I've learned... Pretty sure. I'm going to say this, and I speak with complete honesty and sincerity when I know it sounds absolutely batshit, but given what I've seen mm. and what I've just learned, if any of this, if any of this, she kind of points to the tome, Is threatening anything like it seems to be then I don't know what's possible and I don't know what I can do about it until I understand what has already happened so you must know your history I do yeah what do you know about the history of Isilra Oh. Just what everyone else knows. We grew up. About it being the cradle of human civilization and all that. You know of Vasselheim. And we have the historical a, events that happened there. We have an there. archive in Vasselheim. Then 
There's a 20 day siege. That happened quite some time ago. Pre divergence, I think it was called. Does yeah. that ring a bell? Off the top I of was... my head, no. I was there. I was born in Vaseline 32 years before that. Hmm. And then I was here a few months ago. Make a persuasion check. I sound like I'm batshit fucking crazy, but you I are yes, you do. Nuts. You are batshit fucking crazy. I am batshit fucking shit. crazy. You gotta you be fucking kidding me. Here are all my chips. I'm putting them on the table. <laughs> okay, we're getting this ball rolling at level six. <laughs> yep. No. Six is the new 20, y'all. No, no, no. No crumbs. Give me the whole cake. <laughs> no, I believe... I believe that you believe what you're saying. Truly. But <laughs> I simply do not, cannot wrap my head around something as insane as that. What you're saying is... Preposterous. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to I... say this, but what you're saying is you traveled through time. You time traveled. Hazel on that typewriter. <laughs> I'm... I'm believing my own memories. Because that's all I can do. And move forward. If they're not correct, if I'm... I don't understand it either. I read about the Divine Gate, the history books, the Divergence, and none of it maps onto the world I grew up in, where gods walked the material plane. The world you believe you grew up in. Fair enough, yes. I've tried to tell myself that I must have hit my head. How could I wake up 800 years and have a continent away? It doesn't make any sense, but... No, it doesn't. I know a whole life. There are magics that can stop time for a brief second or two. But to travel centuries... That, that is just simply impossible. And I want to believe you, oh, I sure want to believe you, because that would, that would really piss off a lot of religious folk. But what you're saying is, if something like that was possible, then why isn't everyone doing it? You understand, there are so many powerful mages in the world... It wasn't of my own volition, you understand? I wasn't... I didn't travel through time. I was put there. Here. By who? At By least... what? By the Knowing Mentor. By Ayun. I even helped you time travel. I didn't ask for it. I asked for... ...knowledge. I asked... ...for my family, and... ...I was willing to give what she wanted of me. Hmm. 
And so I spent minutes in the stars, it seemed, the astral sea, maybe, I, I don't understand it, and then I was here. And now so you're seeing, and now you're seeing omens of this, this Bolathamog individual, entity, creature, Atropol. Yeah. A deific stillborn god. And you said your companion heard his voice? Did they die? Did their mind atrophy? I don't know what they heard. She was identifying the book. It, it, I don't know if she if she heard it, or she just knew it from whatever arcane magic she was using, I... Hmm. There's a part of me that wants to be making all of this up. A good... <laughs> A good portion of me, a majority, in fact, but... But there's a part of me that it's, it's... wishes that I believed what you were saying was untrue, but I... I don't. Whether you're saying it with such conviction that it's hard to ignore, or... Or something else entirely. I... I don't even know what I'm asking for. I... I don't know much about your organization. When... When I first... Came to know the Knowing Mentor, I... It wasn't something we talked about. It was dangerous to talk about, and here... I was praying and I almost got arrested in Trostenwald, and I don't know what's safe to know or to show. I don't know who else to go to for guidance or for knowledge. I've gotten whispers and omens, and I don't know what to do with them. But I can't ignore them. I can't. Well, as far as the Cobalt Soul goes, our main goals is to recover lost knowledge. Which? <laughs> Tick that box. And expose lies and reveal the truth. Basically it. We are a, uh, a checks and balance, you could say, for the Empire. We keep things as close to, uh, you know, not shady as possible. And in return, we are given the opportunity to worship knowing mentor I myself do not have it uh, have it within my power to induct you or invite you into our Whatever you want to call it. But I can put a word then to High Curator Udalophon and Rexentrum if you want to join our order.
I'd like to know more. And to know what I can do and it seems good company to be in. Very well. Do you have uh, books and parchment? Or uh, parchment and ink, I mean. Um, I do one? I think you mm, should have a shit ton of... It's do you have it on you? Because I know we've got 20 yeah. empty books and a shitload of ink in the cart. I do not... <laughs> And wow. 50 gold of bad paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Shangma, that's a good paper. paper. That's oh, fine yeah, paper. <laughs> no, um, she nods. Uh, very well, I'll get you some blank sheets and some ink in the quill. And, uh... You can have your very first lesson in scribe duties. As you, uh, copy this book. Because you're going to need it. <laughs> wow. What? The fuck? Listen, it's my other life's ancestors' book. You please take care of it. I would, of course, help you because clearly you don't speak Elvish, which I'm going to need you to work on. It is a very prominent language in the Empire. I will get the Rosetta Stone, yes. Um, yeah, it's called Comprehend Languages. Maybe yeah, I can I? Um, I'm sure they. Should I go get. Should I go talk to Stephen? Would he oh have some paper? I can get you paper and ink. Leave Stephen alone. That would be great. I'll stay. I'll. Stephen is fucked. Stephen has been through enough. I am so sorry. I didn't. I'm so sorry. It's fine. And she goes and gets paper and ink, returns a short time later. Um. And helps you translate and scribe down. Uh, Jesus, how long has it been? Elder Evils, What Existed Before Existence by Calreth Arcanon. <clears throat> um, awesome. We've been in this library for eight hours. I like, want Asabi's this dead. Asabi, <laughs> at this point, uh, which we'll get to what you guys are doing, um, by the time Asavi exits out of the corridor, uh, she has been in there for six hours. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, this ain't, this ain't right. Um, and, she, and the worst part is she's gonna come out and she's gonna be like, it's fine. So, <laughs> as hold that- on, as on. What? Before I leave. Well, it's about to get to them, but yeah, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, what are you doing? What? Uh, I just- I want to... About my companions. I haven't spoken about this but it well keep it that way for now that doesn't seem you just said uncover and expose the truth and yeah other people's should... truth There's a reason that no one knows what Kilios was. Not even the king. Or else he would have Expositor Kilios Derrigan plastered all over every wanted poster. There's a place for secrecy in this order. It's almost... It's almost mandatory. If you wish what if I need their help. If you wish to tell them that is your decision. But if you want your time here to be easy, if you want your job to be easy, you keep it a secret. I understand. But again, it is your choice. Of course. 
Go ice my hands now. As you should. <laughs> and you got but a taste of what Steven does every single day. <laughs> More man. He enjoys it. She opens the door and allows you to walk down the corridor by yourself. As all that was happening, anything you guys are looking up in particular in your books? So, so Tim, I'm... pretty please put that book on the notes because I'm super curious to read. Yeah, I, I will after the session. Google Docs had a seizure with how fast I was trying to write everything down, and that's why I to... that's why I said you don't have to write this down. I have it written out for you. But I wanted to try. <laughs> It was so, a lot. At the one hour mark, um... Can I have, um... Can I have written the book in Celestial? <laughs> My copy. Extra work, but sure. She's a... Diligent hey, student. you know who can read Celestial? Everyone. Everybody! Everybody. Yeah, all of us, but not yeah. like every Tom, Dick, and Harry that we come yeah. from. No, that's true. true. That's true. true. Alright, so... Celestial's finally getting the fucking you guys. in our secret language. Um, I'm looking up weird, uncurable diseases. <gasps> we can, what does it go? Does the timeline she takes does it take over into like closing time or how does what's going on here? Yeah, are we still here by the time she leaves? Um, <laughs> like if, we would have stayed if, and read. Um, the the the, li the library doesn't close. Oh, okay. there okay. there are always archivists. There are always monks. There are always scribes. Um. 24 hour library. 20, 24 that. hours, yeah. <clears throat> Very cool. Uh, I mean, you could. You could choose to leave before you see her come out, or you can stay. It's your call. No, no we're not staying. getting kicked out. We're staying. It's just like, are we right. waiting outside? Yeah, like, yeah. Asabi might be in jail. <laughs> yeah, Alistair has injured circling the building, just in, like every so often, just in case to see if Make she's sure dragged out somewhere. Out back door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And COVID stays just because. It doesn't feel like an arrest. <laughs> yeah. okay. oh, it looked like a murder, let's be honest. It looked yeah. like a murder, like she's been killed. But <laughs> I didn't want to see what happened. They took me out back to shoot me. Good. Hey, at shit. least at least she didn't get the Kilios treatment. <laughs> Her fucking nope. skull yes, stomped in. <laughs> Good lord. I... Or, uh, or Glenn. I thought I was going that way for a second. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna no. learn. We're gonna keep reading. Okay. Uh, so, uh, incurable diseases, there are... Not a a, not as many as you oh, were thinking damn. there was. Uh, a life. lot of a lot of things can be cured by magic, these days. Um, yeah, I know, weird, right? And the tomes you are given are are not as in depth as you were hoping. Um, and if you inquire about that, um, uh, uh, Leliana explains. Um, well, you see, uh, recently in the Menagerie Coast, there have been an influx in ill people. Yes, I've heard about the spell plague. And a oh, lot of our. Uh... It's not spell plague. That's copyrighted. Yeah. But which is the bad. coast? Um, uh, so. Right. A number of our um, medicinal tomes have been taken <sighs> to study well, this plague further. Sorry about that. Fair enough. Yeah. I kill myself. Are the books on the dragon dude? Like, just cobalt soul propaganda. He's the nicest guy. Uh, no, well. you, actually, you actually learn a good bit about uh, Zalavox. Um, he was a fierce general in Bahamut's army. Um, uh -huh. He was uh, incredibly wounded, um, aiding... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, aiding devout individuals of Ayun. Um, who then in herself um, granted uh, a, the gift of mercy upon him which um, healed his wounds but caused a strange almost like life debt uh, event to happen um, and Zalovox was at that point linked to Ayun uh, forever um, mm. he became her fierce guardian uh, her mount occasionally um, because as it is stated within the book, um, Zalovox, uh, was nearly of a size, uh, of Bahamut. Uh, he was very big. 
Um, the Zellavox you, you guys saw probably was just like an aspect of, yeah, right. of the real okay. uh, about uh, Zellavox. Um, he's a fierce general, um, fiercely loyal, um, very pleasant and nice to mortals. Um, always upholded both Ayun's tenets and Bahamut's dogma. Um, it's not propaganda, but as you're reading it, you're like, yeah, no, this tracks for a silver dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Best dragon ever. It's... Best dragon ever. That's the summary um, of the book. I go, I go you, to you also learn that, um, Occasionally, um, he, uh, yeah, you actually make an investigation check. I'll say this. Woo! 22. 22. Um, uh, you also read when that, that gift of mercy was granted upon him by Ayun, um, a, an aspect of her preternatural ability to uh, uh, to essentially read history and see um, like different uh, essentially timelines if as you know if you will um, was granted and passed upon him and occasionally uh, would he roar? It would cause a strange, almost psychedelic uh, kind of vision state to kind of befall anyone uh, within, you know, miles of hearing that roar. Um, gotcha. I'll go to Marin very quickly. Just whisper to her. It would seem the entity we met was but a small fragment of this immortal dragon's entire power yeah i figured the legendary guardian of whatever wasn't you know big enough to fit in a small room in a temple it would seem but you know hmm. like the animatronic um, version yeah the animatronic seriously. version yeah yeah seriously <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah that's it that's all i read okay uh, Alistair, what were you reading? I forget. Kelvor, you ran for Kelvor because all he knows is Death God. Uh, right. Most of worship to Marquette. That's all he knows. <laughs> Correct, that is uh, all you know. Um, you really just picked the weirdest topics. <laughs> yeah. You did. Very weird topics. Okay. We're on a, we're on a Cobalt Soul watch list. Did that one. Right, Immediately. Uh, let me, uh. <sighs> Troll F my notes and find fucking Kellum boring on. <laughs> uh, so I'm 75 years away from him currently. 75 years, Bruce. 75 years. Five years. I hate it here. <laughs> um, I'll say you go and make an investigation check just to see like how much of Kellum Bore you learn. Of good thing I don't learn anything. Let's see. Five. Five, oh, buddy. Oh, no, homie. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. I put the deities into a different Google Doc. I forgot. God shit. Uh, I, was like, I was like, what the fuck are my... Calamore is a god. Calamore is a god. Prime deities. <laughs> that's Junior. And his name is Calamore. Yeah, <laughs> and he's worshipped in Marquette. So there you go. Okay. Uh, so here's what you learn uh, about Kelbor. Um Most notoriously known as the Judge. Um, his holy symbol, as it's known, uh, is an upright skeletal arm holding uh, a scale and balance. Um, what you learn reading over this tome uh, is that um, while not necessarily the god of, like, you know, death and... Uh, the transitional god that set as the Raven Queen's domain, uh, Kelimvor, uh, Kelimvor himself, uh, when a mortal dies uh, and their soul begins the journey beyond the Divine Gate, uh, the first entity they come into contact with is the Judge. 
His purpose is to judge the soul, an unbiasedly designated destination for the soul, uh, which the Matron of Ravens shepherds them towards that point. Um, so it's almost a dual uh, aspect between Kelimvor and uh, the Raven Queen. Um, and previously, before the Raven Queen ascended, Kelimvor and whoever the fuck the other guy was. <clears throat> um, you also learn um, that... <laughs> yeah, you're a five. The only other thing you learn, <laughs> um, sadly... Poor bastard. Um, is that, uh... Oh, fuck. Hang on, sorry. Uh, I have so much shit on Kelimvor, he's my favorite deity. Hang on. He's looking for something very minor to give me, because I rolled like ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to give me a better roll. I actually, I have, his favorite snack is, like, like uh, full like, disclosure, I have, here's what they learn if they roll, uh, you know, DC 10. Here's what they learn if they roll yeah. DC 15. I don't have anything below 10. Um, you want a 10? Uh, I could give you a 10. I mean, it's not gonna do anything. It's too late. <laughs> we're we're oh already past God. that. Um. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll... Yeah. That's fine. Um... The, the only other thing you learn uh, about Kelimvor is um, that currently, while he is only worshipped in a small um, secluded section of uh, Marquette, um, that is because of when uh, the Raven Queen ascended um, a number of Kelimvor's followers was so in awe of a mortal ascending um, that he lost a good number of his congregation and his worshippers. Um, and because she became this, this strangely almost, at least in that time, not so much now, but then she became this almost, like, like almost like rock star kind of uh, deific figure in the eyes of the mortals as one of us ascended to godhood. Um, She's the Pete, the the story we read about the person who won the lottery. Yeah, yes. basically, like, um, like that could be me. Yeah, because sure. be, because of that, both in the eyes of his worshippers and. Um, possibly in the eyes of other gods, he, he did slightly fall out of favor. Um, and at one point, there was talk of stripping him of what he does and just creating and, and pushing that into the domain of the Raven Queen. Um, luckily, the Great Raven picture. Queen was mortal uh, and quickly fell out of favor with the other gods. So... Uh, so, that's what that's what you learned. Even. From that, um, I just want to clarify. Does that mean that he, originally he was worshipped in more than just Marquette? Correct. When, from what I'm reading and just its wording and stuff like that, does it seem like there's a chance that some of the the Raven Queen's cathedrals were might maybe originally some of his? Probably. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yep. Since, uh, we don't have to, like, go through this, because I'm not looking for anything specific, but since my books were boring and unhelpful, I spend the rest of the- <laughs> I spend the, uh, I spend the rest of the time looking up, like, general spell work, spell crafting, how to make that kind of stuff, and, like, basically, like, enchanting for dummies to see if I can, like, save some time or some money in the future. <laughs> sure. sure, make an investigation oh, check. Sexy? Uh, I would love to do that. Uh... Yeah, sexy. 21. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 21. <laughs> uh, I will say, given that you do find a number of books on enchanting, um, that from a mechanical standpoint, if you take time to go ahead and copy them down, because you guys, you can copy the information you learned down, you just can't take the original books out. Um... If you take the time to copy them down, uh, anytime you would be, or you you would kind of go to enchant something, um, 
there would be a depending on what it is a certain DC set um, and if you succeed on it uh, and depending on how far past you do succeed the DC threshold it could shave off some time for the enchantment Ooh. process yeah I'm copying that bitch down instantly okay tips and tricks for your enchanting <laughs> yeah I'm assuming I have a few hours after finishing my book to wait for a sobby <laughs> Yeah, exactly. For who knows how many hours. So I'll assist her. Well, by the time uh, you guys finish up the, you know, next to the last page on Lyra, or Lyra's, uh, Varen's books, um, you see, uh, especially Yuko, out of the corner of your eye, stepping out of the corridor, um, kind of, you know, squeezing and, and opening her hand, uh, you see Asavi. Healthy, fine. Are, are we once again fugitives of the law, Asabi? No. Huh. Sorry it took me so long. Thanks for waiting. We didn't have to do that. Well, we thought you might have been arrested, so I feel like we should have. Yeah, I think we definitely made the right move. Uh... Oh, you saw that. Um... I believe I'm... everybody with eyes in the library saw that. I am not arrested. Uh, good to know. Then what I... are you? I am very tired. Uh huh. Do I want to know? Do I even want to know? Probably Did not. You will find what you were looking for. No. That doesn't matter besides <laughs> what happened up there. No. Speaking of tired, uh, it, it, I was just going to snap his fingers twice and summon Indra back to him. Puff him out and bring him back. Varen's not bitter at all. No, no, I definitely not. flying for hours. Fuck. Poor bastard. Poor bitter Varen. Ugh. Yo, Alistair, I'm so tired. Oh, shit, Asabi's alive. That's good. Asabi's <laughs> alive. Thanks for keeping an eye out outside. Yeah, you know. Who are you looking for me? Uh, I mean, of course. Like, who, who do you take me for, you know? I keep an eye out for my friends. What happened when you flew in that corridor, by the way? Did you get I'd, hit, or...? I don't know. I just... Uh, I was flying, you know, as I do. Uh, and then uh, all of a sudden... Boom! Middle of the damn Feywild. I don't know what happened. They likely have protections against magic, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's distressing. Also, none of our business. Shall we leave? Yes, let's... Um... Oh shit, I was gonna look up stuff for Damon. I'll come back tomorrow. It's fine. Excellent. We walk away. Mabus. It is time for dinner. And uh, it is way past time for dinner. Yeah, it's it's pretty late. Dinner was two hours ago. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, sexy. Okay. I go to Asavi real quick. Um, you don't ever have to tell us anything that happened in there, if it is your wish. But just know that we are always willing to help. I appreciate that. And thank you for waiting. It. I didn't mean to go. I. It's my own. <laughs> I had an inkling there was more than meets the eye. So I decided to wait. Slip of the tongue, but thank you. But crisis averted, all's well. Perfect. I'm glad you're safe, Asabi. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you, Varen. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, you're welcome, Asavi. No problem. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I Enjoy. gotta thank you before you, and I didn't even do anything. I'd, I I said something before. Mm. When he was talking, he didn't hear me. I... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I couldn't hear you over the uh, the contentious like tooth grinding that Varen's over here doing because she couldn't find what she was looking for. <laughs> She really Thank is wearing down her enamel. 
Mm. Not healthy. Should get some cold yes, I'll go to a dentist. Can we go? <laughs> Come on. Good so, you guys head back to Leaky Tap? Yeah. As they come back, because I think dinner time is best, right? It has, sure has. <laughs> Ly Lyris would have picked a plate for each one of them, and in the last hour, she would have warmed it with frosted digitation and placed in front of their doors before she went. Aww. We're all sharing rooms. So yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So at the, at the, at the, at the, I forgot has his that. Room. And then I forgot that. So oh, put a, put, Just, put an up place right, in all three rooms. Boys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Girls and boys. And they are warm for an hour because she pressed the data so it wouldn't be cold. Very sweet. Did I beat up the armor by that time? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> I would have gone with them because I need to check it out if it's fashionable. It's good. It took, uh, it took it's, as long as a commission. Uh, oh it's it's not so boxy anymore, um, mm. and it is trimmed um, in this almost um, like sapphire blue uh, trimming Ooh, along nice. the uh, the edges awesome. of the armor itself. Sexy. It is so pretty. Um, it has also been outfitted uh, with uh, probably probably what was left over from materials they had from you know a commission from the Cobalt Soul or something, but it also is outfitted with a. Um, essentially a cobalt blue kind of chain shirt under mesh uh, on the armor itself. Sexy. Do we all just have to wear blue now? That is that so thing? cool. Yes. That's the vibe. That's, that's what he asked no. for. So he was like, hey, I have extra bits. Fuck it. And threw it on. Yeah. Not happening. I love that. Not it. happening. Nope. I don't wear a blue sash. I don't care. I love that. Come on, just get it together. A blue sash. little bit of blue. Yeah. Come on, go for so it. It, it, it's, it is a plate armor? Cool tones. It's plate armor, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Sexy looks so the, the good. Week. Oh, you can wear yeah. it. You're not changing. Yeah, or you can, can wear, you wear it. Wear it. I'm wearing. I'm wearing this one, but I'm putting my old armor in the bag of holding. Oh, oh okay. I you splint mail. Okay. It gotcha. looks so good. Oh my god. Uh, so and you can drag and drop plate armor from the compendium into your your character sheet. Mm -hmm. And it'll automatically so calculate for you. Idea. Ooh, oh that's my it. god. They're going to love to see it, Denver, and when they come back, they're going to be so happy. Well, I have to admit, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, I have good taste, you know? Like, I would never make any of you look... But... <laughs> I mean, even the, kid, the, the cat and the owl looked fashionable, okay? So, you know. And that is very true. Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's go because you know they haven't come back yet, and I just I just don't want them to starve. So I'll just heat their food, you know, because cold cold food no one deserves cold food. It has to be warm. Come on. Okay. So um, as the other four are walking back to the the leaky tap, Savi, do you say anything? I think she's gonna take this evening to process. Sure. Mostly just because Lane needs to process. Sure. Uh, I think she'd, um, I um I hope you all had <laughs> productive days. I I also learned a lot. I want to review my notes and, and maybe we can talk about it tomorrow. Hmm. I'm really tired and she's like like <laughs> massaging her hands as she talks. She's got like purple tunnel. Whenever um, you are ready. Alright. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, share at your leisure, I suppose. <laughs> I'll probably sew in the in the temple. Ah. But um. But yeah, I just I want to go over my notes one more time and. Well, 
the oh, fact that you are still here is a good sign. Yeah, nothing bad. I just slipped the tongue, but prices averted. Not in any trouble. No, I was so looking forward to being on the run again. Mm. Pity. I'm sure I could put my foot in my mouth even further if you'd like me to. Admittedly, it has lost its charm. Yes. You've done it once, you've done it a thousand times, I suppose. Besides, if we were on the run, we couldn't enter the... Ah, uh, yes. ...fighty thing. <laughs> Championship? The fighting Gauntlet, thing. Yeah. There's <laughs> gotta be better ways to earn money. Well, I mean, the last time we did that... Ways, but... You know, so... There's always crime. <laughs> wow, funny. Did anybody else hear that really terrible voice in their head telling them to do crime? <laughs> do crime get paid? Someone Look. said yeah, be gay, be gay, gay crime. do crime. Wow, two boxes checked. Excellent. Yeah, I was going to be like, check one? Check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys head back towards the leaky tap. Uh, the kitchen is closed down at this point. Um, and you see just kind of sitting on a stool, legs propped up on the desk. A snoring white dragonborn, uh, not paying any attention to anyone. Uh, most Excellent. of the most of the patrons are, uh, you know, in their rooms, presumably. Um, as you guys make your way to towards your rooms, um, Asavi and Varen, you find uh, some warm food waiting for you. As Lyris is waiting for you in her room. Uh, and Alistair and Co, you also find some warm food in your room, as Dermon is waiting for you, because Kynan has his own room. <laughs> there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lyris is written in the book. Okay. That very leave, gamer. Leave the sad Percy boy alone. <laughs> yeah, let's... Man's need a break. There is one bed in each room, which you can figure out what's gonna happen there. Um, but regardless, eventually, you do find rest for the evening and that is where we'll call a close to tonight's session nice yeah, it's already been time. Oh, my yes oh, I'm so happy Conrad this is class oh my god thought you liked that easter egg oh my god it's cute. that's really cool he was never he was not grumpy guys he was super eloquent and he wrote a book mm. He was Not just grumpy book. with me, apparently. Well, oh, with Vane. Grumpy. No, he was. You can be cool grumpy and write a really good book. Yeah, I, exactly. I did like. I did add the line, and that is a conversation even I wouldn't dream of having. Yeah, I because, love that. Because you know. <laughs> I miss you know, him, you guys. God, I hate this. I miss I him. My new passenger is not as cool. <sighs> well. What do you mean? He real as fucks. Anyway. That's that's gonna <laughs> be does. it from us. Thank you so much. Goodbye, internet. Bye, internet. Bye, internet. Bye, internet. <laughs> Bye, internet.